now we're live. Failed to post tweet. That's fine. All right, now we are actually live. We have a bit of a technical difficulties there. This is the actual part two of. God damn it! Uh, dragons are real. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, we that's proved it last <laughs> stream. We're gonna prove it again. That's the name of the uh, the podcast. Dragons are real. Come on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Over with the name. Dragons are real, okay? Dragons are real. We all know. <laughs> That's a good one. We proved it last stream. We're going to prove it again. Uh, and by that, I mean we'll talk about dragons for five minutes and then riff on Jews for an hour. I was going to say, I was going to maybe movies instead of Jews this time. But yeah, no, we should definitely do movies. So, well, Bonnie well, Darko. Oh, wait, we should have the cams. Damn it. Streaming is so fucking hard, man. Oh, what the fuck happened? Wait, what? Oh, okay. I just didn't see. I, like, mixed him with my wall. <laughs> they call me the chameleon. That is a weird matchup. That's better than last time. Really? In the center. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. But, I wish there was more room here. Uh, can we still back you up a little bit? You can kind of scoot. There we go. Now let's move that. I like the whole wiring being over. So, uh, last time we started off with the little reaction thing, there's something I'd uh, very much like you to see. Yeah. Uh, can we get a YouTube clip going? Yeah. Um, this one? That one? Do what you do, baby. It's not hard being a tech guy. Or it's not easy being a tech it's guy. It's not hard. This isn't difficult. No, it's not hard. It's like no one does this. <laughs> Dude, we're pioneers in the field, really. Oh, yeah. So what you're going to look for. <laughs> I got no education. Don't you even try to educate me. Ooh, spicy right off the bat. All right. right. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just. Oh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that they talk mean, like that. But them, who's them? Who's, who's them? them? <laughs> what? You get a little saucy. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh, Google. YouTube. Just what do you? I'm just gonna type it into Google. Uh, dragons. The legend made real. The legend. I won't even use two hands. Because I know what I'm doing. I can type it. <laughs> oh, yeah, hand. lightning speed. <laughs> I'm not fucking doing yeah, it. Yeah, he's just... Dragon's a legend of Zodia. Ma the legend made, made real. Made real. Trailer. Last Dragon? What are you looking for here? Uh, a fantasy made real. There you go. Should be a porn. I'm just saying. The fantasy made real. It's maybe not a porn, but like a romance movie. God, your internet or this computer? What? Well, yeah, that's great. I think it's the computer then. Why? Uh, why is it slow? Yeah. Oh, shit. It was only 150 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. All right. Uh, let's put some audio on that. Curious to see how the audio actually. I kind of want to test it real quick. Okay. Hey. Shows my Tim Pool recommendations. Let's go. Uh oh. <laughs> Got an alt right guy here. Just kidding. There is I'm one fascist. creature remembered in the legends of almost all human fascist, culture right? that's ever like existed. I'm just fringe. That, that's all I am. I'm a neutral fringe. By the Chinese. That, that's all I am, man. The Aztecs. <laughs> Even the Inuit, who live in a frozen land where no reptiles are found, even they have stories of this animal. The dragon. Cultures from different continents, people who have no contact with one another, yet all of them have stories describing the same mythical animal. Could it be that these stories were more than myth? What if we discovered that this creature that haunts our imagination had once been real? 
If dragons no. were real, she can't. then what were they really no. like? That's what Twitch is. How did they fly it's and how did they girls. breathe fire? It's basically child pornography. Why did yeah. they die out? To unlock it's these physical. secrets, we'd need uh, to find physical evidence. Evidence revealed by the slow burning. retreat of a melting glacier. What if we found a body? Alright, let's see how the audio... A body. The Carpathian Mountains of northeastern Romania. A remote place. The last stronghold of Europe's nice. great predators. Wolves, yeah, maybe turn this level down just a bit. Okay. And according to legend, here is where another great predator oh, made its last high. stand. A legend that has found yeah, new life. Loud. That's actually my max. Alpine though. skiers who ventured into these mountains stumbled upon a network of ice caves opened by Ooh. an unseasonably warm we winter. Just, just what they found inside the required uh, official investigation. A brutal medieval crime scene. So that was a fantasy made real. The remains of human bodies hey, dressed in 15th century armor. I think there is a trailer. There's a trailer. If you type in trailer, you, Dragon's World? you might get it if you type in trailer. All the tropes with you. Like, I did, I should be the one man, manning the fucking, I'm a fast typer and a fucking internet whiz. But you don't know how to work stuff. It doesn't seem that hard. It really doesn't. Required official investigation. <laughs> yeah, I guess. A brutal medieval crime scene. Dragon legend real. If you just type in trailer, I, I don't Life. fucking get it. Why you would it? Alpine skiers who ventured into these mountains stumbled upon a network of ice caves. <laughs> Across continents, across time, across cultures, there have always been myths about like dragons. Could they it's have been real? Join one man's journey it's a nest. to prove that dragons really did exist. You need to look at this. But how did they take to the skies? This creature could fly. How did they breathe fire? Why did they perish? With state-of-the-art <laughs> CGI, you will see and you <laughs> Rex will believe. The dragon. Dragon's <laughs> World, <laughs> a fantasy <laughs> movie <laughs> <and his laughs> from comes alive on From uh, HBO's Invincible. I am the voice actor. So let's talk to you about your work on Invincible. I think that's what people come here for. Well, the voice booth stuff is a pain in the butt. But it's uh, easier than real acting. Yeah. I would I, say it differs. I would say it differs in that uh, you can do it remotely. Most of all, but That's like, good. Rexplosion's one of my favorite characters uh, I've done. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty three dimensional, I'd say. Oh yeah, uh, he fucks the chick who can turn into a bunch of chicks. Yeah. What more do you want? You heard it from. That's uh, the kind of creature I want to be associated to. You're the voice actor for Rexplosion, <laughs> Showtime's, <laughs> HBO, uh, HBO Max, my friend. Disney Plus's uh, Invincible. Visible or invisible? Invisible. In indivisible. In indivisible. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hit show. Can you move that water bottle? Why? Oh, are you looking at it? Yeah, yeah. It's it's part of the decor. <laughs> I like this glass. <laughs> it's unintentional. <laughs> yeah. But dragons are real. I think we just proved it pretty well. That last <laughs> scene. Oh, I wanted to see. I wanted to see the line. I found a nest. Hold on, I gotta see this. Ooh, yes. This May on ABC, journey to a place you will not believe. <laughs> Dinotopia. <laughs> I don't watch this. You're not from around here, are you? I think I'm excited to meet you. You know, I, I, I just love it. I found it. Oh. Welcome to Waterfall City. 
Where are we it's exactly? Just sitting there. Oh, it's like, it's okay. I mean, if you found a DVD sitting on the street, you could grab it, right? Especially if it's Dinotopia. Yeah. We better start learning. It's not pirating. We have to get home. Our dad's still out there. There's no on way. The oh, are they gonna have the dad? I don't think you quite understand yet. He <laughs> <laughs> was MC Squared. I love it. Yeah, they have to. Really, that's actually a meme. Are you insane? <clears throat> really? Yeah, I think it became a thing. <clears throat> exactly. David, you'll undergo you such a trend setter. You're not really joining the Skybacks, are you? I mean, the first time the sky you bags. see birds up close, ooh, you're going to freak out. Don't worry, you're not David. You're not really joining the wetbacks, are you? In your heart. They will sense that, that fear, and they will not <laughs> approach. They could be wet. At least you look kind of Mexican. Oh, so really well, you are Mexican. The voice actor, you played a Mexican Maybe character. Yeah. Work. It's beautiful. How'd, you, how'd that make you feel? I just put a little of my own twist on it, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little, like, twist of mine? Now, in terms of emotion, yeah. you get pretty explosive with it, it, if you don't mind me yeah, saying Dude, honestly, you, I am, it changed me forever. Like, I am always, like, a half second away from just, like, exploding. The Tyrannosaurus herd is destroying everything in its path, and the Tyrannodons are breaching all their traditional boundaries. How many sunstones are left in the city vault? The reserve. They're all gone. We must make an expedition to the world beneath to find new sunstones. As we live by the codes of Dinotopia, so must we hard ahead to die. Yeah, I heard that once again. Dude, the guy was. Yeah, I definitely want to recommend Far Down. I would uh, absolutely recommend Dinotopia. Oh, hell yeah. 2002 or 2005, I remember. What? Was it 2005 version? It was a movie and a miniseries. Over three nights. I watched the miniseries. The most okay. Like the weekly event. Yeah. I was all excited for, for it. Television. I watched it as it came out. This is the TV yeah. There's a 2005 movie. Well, is it good? Coming Sunday, May 12th. <laughs> yeah, what, what are you going to do? Not even as a kid. No, I didn't like it. So I should probably, uh, let's watch some videos of, like, scallops. Or... Elden My Ring? Name is Yui. At oh, long so last, who ties fight? Dragons are real, baby. If dragons are real, what does that mean for the world? Well, I don't think a lot would change. The change that would have Well, I mean, even in your model, they're extinct, right? Discord. I just wanted an excuse to say if. <laughs> if, if, if dragons are real. If dragons are real. <laughs> Alright. Let's get back to it. So dragons are real. We uh, lost the first, like, 20 minutes of a pretty good riff. The beginning of this. So yeah, we were talking about bombs. Yeah, murdering bombs and being a serial killer. How easy it would be in Olympia, Washington. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I want to regale that, though. Like, I feel like we... Let's lost. leave it at that. Yeah, I don't think that's the way to do it. I'm already bored of it. <laughs> I'm already bored of this podcast. <laughs> no. How are we 15 minutes in there? Not bad. Um, okay. And the audio is recording. So, cool. <laughs> Very nice. And it is actually recording too. And streaming. Nice. Peachy. Dragons are real. Why are they real? <laughs> Why are they real? I don't think at all. Keep in mind, I'm the guy who doesn't think they're real. These are the questions people <laughs> <have. laughs> oh, <laughs> Why are they real? <laughs> well, I don't think they are. Well, I think it was primarily. Uh, why are you wrong? <laughs> why? <laughs> 
<laughs> Explain to me exactly how you're wrong about that. Yeah. A few details. I did read something um, that's kind of on topic here that you might find interesting. Did you ever hear about the uh, the Russian, or like the Moscow crocodile incident? Which one? Were there multiple? Probably. Yeah, it's uh, just a trip because there's all these historical writings saying that these like giant crocodiles had like infested a river that runs through Moscow and there's like all these writings about it. The weird thing is though is that um like the farthest northern living crocodile or crocodilian is the Chinese alligator. Hold on. And can they're scoot, like can you scoot back just a little bit? I don't want to too with you. There we go. I feel like that's more natural looking, right? Yeah, I mean you got the boom in your face. Or the, the arm in your face. Turn, turn it towards me just a hair. Or even. Yeah, if it's picking us up, we're getting good levels, looks like. Yeah. Sweet. Testing, test, test, testing. I'm a little low. Dra dra dragons, dra dragons. <laughs> Alright, let's do some tests. Hopefully it fucking gets dialed in. That's the other thing. We got a viewer. Who is it? We got Mr. Day. Speaking of dragons. Mr. Day? Mr. Day. Hey, Mr. Day. What's up? What is up, buddy? Long time no see. Yeah. Wait, do you know this guy? Yeah. Oh, cool. Who is he? Dude, he's a self-proclaimed. Not even self-proclaimed. He is a dragon. Oh, I really? I this guy. Yeah. Oh, he's a, he's a dragon. He's an actual dragon. Oh, God bless him. What's up, dragon? What's up, dragon? We're trying to prove that you're, that you're real. Also, it keeps showing up on Amaranth on my phone, and it's really distracting on Twitch. Amaranth? Oh, like, um... That girl. Like, it's showing to the viewer that you're watching this 12-year-old? It's not 12-year-old. Oh, I thought you said she was 12. She's 13. Right. Oh. If that was true, I might have to reevaluate our friendship. No, obviously, that girl is fucking well into their 30s. <laughs> I hope. Well into the 30s? No fucking way. She's like 22 tops. She's like 80. <laughs> that, it, That's an 80 year old. I don't want to drink her blood then. <laughs> Do you? Well, she's 80 years old and she looks like that. Yeah, I'll fucking devour her and absorb her energy. Like a dragon. I'm going to censor all that part out. <laughs> That's just going to be the podcast. Just you. I want to <laughs> drink her blood. I want to drink her blood. You know, it's whatever. <laughs> Um, what was I doing? Okay, we're testing audio real quick. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Day. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Day. You're coming in way louder. Turn it towards you a bit. Yeah, sorry, Testing. 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 Maybe you just talk louder. Yeah, it might project a bit more. You're pretty explosive today. Too. Yeah, for explosion, uh, HBO Max. Uh, I was an actor on that one. So yeah, we have a uh, Mexican actor. Uh, what is your What is your name again? Latinx. Your name is Latinx. No, it's <laughs> no. I'm Latinx. Well I'm not Mexican. <laughs> okay, you heard him. <laughs> and my name is also Latinx. Yeah. Le <laughs> Their name is Latinx. My name is Latinx Caliente. That's not. <laughs> Latinx. My name is. Latinx uh, my, takes, my name is Latinx Rexplosion. Pequeño. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it down a little bit. My poor neighbors. I think they already left. I think that was a quick. Just like, oh. I don't know if I'll be here for that. <laughs> but whatever. CJTTV, dragons are real. Let's get to the, the proving of the dragons. So the Russian crocodile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's all these writings about, like, big-ass reptiles in this river in Russia. The trippy thing is, though, is that, like, in terms of, like, reptiles that are like documented, there's, like, only one that, like, really pushes the limits of, like, northern expansion in terms of something big and it's the Chinese alligator. Damn, I need a soundboard. I could do sound effects like a fart. <laughs> You're saying the biggest thing in the northern hemisphere do like a fart. <laughs> crack whack. My ass. <laughs> My ass. Um we have fun here, ladies and gentlemen. 
I keep looking at there, and it looks really weird. We have fun here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the uh, the Chinese crocodiles are pretty cool. They they actually live in places like like all other crocodilians. They're pretty water bound, mm -hmm. and so they live in places where all the water freezes, and or like the they freeze over, not freeze through. But what they'll do is they'll use their snout to like bash a hole in the ice and like stick their nose up out of the water and like rest it on the ice and just go into like suspended animation hmm. in like freezing water interesting what was that it's my neighbor's window either opening or closing oh probably closing yeah this is the whisper cast <laughs> this is the whisper cast the after midnight hour uh day says alligators are scary imagine being in the middle of a death roll i couldn't even imagine are they scarier than sharks, though? Because gators, you have, like, you're not completely in the water, I think, most of the you time. You can just be on the shore, and a gator could get you. Well, you at least could, like, run. You might be able to hit it. A shark, you're outside of your element. I feel like you're fucked. But then a yeah. gator, like, when you're in the death roll, I like, can't get away from that. It's going to break you. Oh, yeah. It gets your leg. You're at least you're losing that leg. It brings you into its element. That's even scarier. It drags you right in. It's like, oh, you're in the ground. That's cute. You're in a deep little bog now. Are there videos online of people just getting, like, sucked into the water and not coming up from a gator? Not enough. I love animal attack videos the most. I love seeing people get maimed and just killed by wild animals. Especially if they had it coming. There's oh, something yeah. about like seeing like an animal trainer or a matador just get freaking revenge. Oh, matador videos are the best. The best. The bull's that's a... just like, fuck you, dude. You've been torturing me <laughs> you've been tor for years. <laughs> well, no, they can... the bull always dies. Oh. That's even worse. Yeah, yeah. The, there's no that's hope for the bull. There's no like notorious matador bulls because they're all, they they get stabbed with swords. Yeah, I remember that. Not they're... all of them, though. Sometimes that's, uh, I think, for like a main event. Kind of like the WrestleMania bullfight. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, Are there rodeo clowns? Or just like dudes in little white shirts? I think it's different in Mexico. I don't know if they're clowns. They're performers. I see. I like rodeo clowns, personally. After the after Baskets, especially, I, I feel like... Uh, the show was good. The show was really good. Are you up to date on it? Oh, yeah. Unless there was a new season really recent. I think they canceled it. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, because they got, like, season three or four. Or I really think people were, like, getting mad at Louis Anderson for playing a woman. How? He played it amazing. Same thing with Jeffrey uh, Tambor. I guess he played... Uh, I don't know who that is. Uh, he's uh, the dad in Arrested Development. Oh, yeah, he's good. Yeah, I guess he had this show where he played a trans person or a transvestite or a drag queen or whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. There's, there's so many categories these days. I'm trying to be inclusive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But uh, they they got his show canceled because he wasn't that trans in real life. Mm -hmm. Also, if you can't tell by the cameras, we are six feet apart. Don't worry. Um, yeah. We're 14 feet apart. So he got canceled for playing a trans person? And not being trans himself. So you have to be what you are in the show yes so if you're an astronaut you got to be an astronaut really. no 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 these people are only concerned with race and gender yeah it's unfortunate i don't know because it's like i'm all for that we're you know acceptance stuff but like it's just yeah weird when it gets to that extreme yeah cancel them How dare they it's jeffrey tambor too he's like an icon Hey, dude, he's hilarious. I heard that show's really good. Yeah. I'm sure it's not offensive. I doubt it's like trans people suck, you know? It's probably like interesting, probably trans writers, you know? And if there's one show I found honestly offensive, it was the, uh, the Mini States of Terra. <laughs> you watched that? Yeah, I watched it. <laughs> that show was the. You're the aunt that shows people blacklist. <laughs> I heard it's good. I bet. I haven't watched it. I heard it's good. No, my girlfriend there. watched the United States of Terror and it was fucking infuriating. Is that that skit show? No, no. It's about this chick with uh, like multiple personality disorder, or whatever. She's got like 39 like alternate personalities. That's great. It kind of, it really, 
I don't know. I, I suppose it just brought out my inner sort of, um, like, utilitarian. Because she has this disorder, and everyone, like, kowtows to it. And uh -huh. totally... And their lives are fucking horrible. <laughs> everyone just suffers because of this woman's disability. It's, it's just a show about people who lead, like shitty lives and it's all because does it um, get better eventually like she and, helps them with no this because they have to up the ante of the show her shit just kind of escalates so they just keep hating her more and, more and it's like almost monster of the week like this new altar comes out Ooh, i, I can't get behind this oh i've it's, done well it 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 was grotesque it's it's watching a show about all these people's horrible fucking lives and it's all all their problems stem from this woman's mental illness. It's disturbing. I think it'd be funnier if it was a, a kind of weirder mental illness. <laughs> she thinks she's a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so dragons are real, and we're gonna prove it on this stream. <laughs> I think that's, we're just gonna edit the, just the intro of just dragons are real. Dragons are real. <laughs> dragons, dragons are real. real. Dragons are real for an hour. <laughs> Um, so we lost the two viewers. We were doing pretty good. I think we clickbaited at least one person. It was like, oh, yeah, for Explosion, man. <laughs> he gets pretty cool in the comic books. <laughs> um, I also got to figure out how to do this. I fucked up. Yeah, that's all outdated. What do you mean? The Streamlabs. It'll bring in, like, little things automatically set. It's like every 30 minutes, I'm like, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> that would be actually awesome. Every a, dra time a dragon I comes up and says, subscribe. subscribe. Smash that like button. Or I'll blow fire. Scratch up. that like button. <laughs> Claw that like button. Burn the bell. <laughs> um, Holy shit. So dragon's real. Uh... Let's look up the best evidence. Let's look up a dragon's caught on camera. Okay. Good, good call. Shit. Let's see what the best there, the best evidence. All right. Dragon. Uh, I bet this can be a lot, so we're going to have to sift for a while. We might have to watch some, uh... Beowulf. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. This summer, spend How many views? Time staring half a million. Half, oh. million. half a million people think they exist. Scan here for a chance to win a real vacation. I bet half those people Michael were Vulture more convinced the dragons didn't exist after dragons. watching this. Perhaps best known for having that. a name that Did rhymes you ever watch the word dragon? dragon. And for popping I'm up sure in that show, I kind of like them. Yeah, they're good. Dragons, dragons are as cool as Lando Calrissian. I'm more of a Hotel Transylvania man, but sadly, they're not real. The first one's great. Aren't they? Let's Wait, waste 10 minutes real? dubiously trying to How prove they might actually be real. <laughs> From a dragon in Malaysia to a dragon in Texas, here Ooh. are five real pieces of evidence that dragons are still alive. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Before we begin, make sure to hit the First like button, of evidence. subscribe to our channel, dragon and click two. the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, really let's begin. One. I think there's even a fourth one now. Huh? Hmm. Yeah, they like find his mom. Number five. Malaysia dragon. I like this fat little ghost. A dragon thing. is a large serpent like legendary creature that, that appears in the folklore of many cultures around the world. Beliefs about dragons vary drastically by region, but dragons in Western culture, since the high Middle Ages, have often been depicted as winged, horned, so, four legged, and capable of breathing good. fire. Dragons in Eastern cultures are usually Where's depicted as wingless, four legged, dragon? serpentine creatures with above average like intelligence. Feet long. The earliest yeah. attested dragons resemble giant the snakes. Dragon like spooky. creatures are first described know, in the like mythologies fate, of the but... ancient yeah. East but... and appear in ancient Mesopotamian art and literature. Stories about storm gods slaying giant serpents occur throughout nearly all Indo-European and Near Eastern mythologies. Famous prototypical dragons include, and I am going to pronounce this wrong, so apologies, Mashusu of ancient Mesopotamia. A pep in Egyptian mythology, Vritra in the Rig Veda, <coughs> bring her in on the stream. Bible, Python, Ladon, some... Wyvern, you need a the Renan Hydra stuff. in Greek mythology. Well, yeah, Ladon, it'll be like a tin pool where it's like two jackasses and a chick. And a dragon from <laughs> wow, I better pronounced Adam, most of those words wrong, huh? The popular Adam, Western image of a dragon Adam. as wings, four legs, and capable of breathing fire. 
is an invention Not of the much. Middle Ages. Based on a conflation of earlier somewhere? dragons from different Which traditions. In Western guys. cultures, yeah, one of them has a bigger forehead than the other. To be tamed or overcome. Yeah. Usually by saints yeah, or culture yeah. heroes. As in the goofus. popular legend of St. George and the Dragon, Ian's pretty legit, they are often said to have ravenous goofus. appetites yeah. and to live in but caves like, where they hoard treasure. These dragons appear frequently in Western fantasy laughed, literature, I, including The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, the, the Harry Potter series <laughs> by J.K. Rowling, and A Song of Ice and Fire by George R.R. R. Martin. No one else is really the word dragon is also known to be applied to the Chinese loom, which are associated with good fortune and are thought to have power in the rain. Voice Mod is the number one real-time voice changer for gamers and content creators. Yeah, in what ways? The soundboard gives you easy access to the dragons and their associations with rain are the source of the Chinese customs of dragon dancing and dragon boat racing. Many East Asian deities and demigods have dragons as their personal You got indoctrinated by that black dude who's like advocating for heroin use. He was a heroin addict. During Chinese imperial history, he was a heroin addict. Dragons on his house, clothing, or personal articles. But were any of these dragons ever real? Or were they always just the stuff of legend? And if they were real, is there a chance some might still be alive today? Well, if these photos are anything to go by, Olympia. Dragons may not have just been and, real. Like, just they might still how be. That works we'll be going places. over five mm -hmm. examples in this video like, that show a lot of people who do whatever they want end up screaming outside of your apartment. These photos come exactly. from Parag, and they come with a story. And, According like, to Malaysian website Hype.my, the original photographer like, found the small dragon in their house. In a panic, he shot it dead. If you look at the small dragon's stomach near the top legs, there's a notable small splash of blood. Apparently, the man had been on high alert for a long time. He keeps rabbits, and for several months now. He had been waking up to find several of his beloved real. bunnies eaten in the night. Because of this, he had been sleeping with a shotgun by the bed, anticipating having to kill whatever was eating his bunnies. Right. On this night, he was awoken by a sudden squeal in the That's early hours of the morning. Positive. Dragons are real. <laughs> Dragons are real. What can you do? It's, uh... The real now. <laughs> They're real now. Yeah. I just I just decided dragons are real. I think that pretty much sums it up. We got Imagine. anything in chat? We got day. Being in the prison system is the biggest problem because it starts the poverty cycle. Yeah, that's a good yeah, point. Yeah, when you're right, you're right. Well, that's the thing. It's like, how do you decriminalize something but not advocate for it or have it so easily usable? You know? I mean, people like to point out like Portugal and shit, where they uh, they saw rates um, drop uh, pretty significantly after they legalized everything. Rates of what? Uh, drug use. But I've also heard that there's areas of Portugal that horrifying. are just absolutely horrifying fucking shitholes with needles everywhere. Exactly. They probably just avoid those in the stats. Like we, we right. those don't count. Right. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Hard I, to say. It's that's a tough one. Yeah, like, I want, I don't know. It would be kind of cool if, like, molly was legal and mushrooms and acid, and it's like, I could, see, could use it wisely. I could see MD MDMA being legalized. That one I would not mind. I'd be like, eh, But that's the party. thing, That that's kind of like the sketchy yeah. issues that, you know what the MA in MDMA stands for? Meth. Methamphetamine. Exactly, it's like Adderall. Yeah. It's just fun. <laughs> Go to Adderall. Uh, legalize Adderall. Fucking please. I'd be an Adderall junkie. Well, that's the other thing. It's like, even just my two-week stint with Adderall, you know, a few years ago, when it was winter doing art, like, I turned me into a fucking crackhead after two weeks. I thought I was losing my fucking mind. And, like, that's too much power, I think, for most people. Yeah. Like, can you imagine just being able to do heroin? Just kind of like, oh, I'm just going to do a heroin binge this weekend. Like, right. no big deal. It's me and my friends. I feel like that would just be too weird. Or cocaine. Cocaine's kind of annoying to me. Like, I feel like every time I've done it in the past, I always ends up into four-hour talks about racism. <laughs> like, Dude, I did some. I I had, like... Not that I've done cocaine. Cocaine's bad. Don't do it. So, right. hypothetically, I the other night, I, um... <laughs> <laughs> hypothetically... Four say, hours ago. <laughs> let's just say that the other night, I yeah. was uh, at the bar, and I... Your buddy was at the bar. Yeah. It's very rare to... Um, for me to stay after midnight because drinks stop pouring at midnight, but they keep doing karaoke for two more hours. I didn't know that. So it's like a lot of people just drinking water and doing karaoke. That sounds way more fun than the drinking. Yeah. The, the, the super late and people stay there until two. It gets like packed at like, like a, at like nine. That's what I'm doing. Wednesdays. Going to Donnell's? Fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. Get sober. Drink some milk. 
Yeah, no, it's a bunch of people singing and pounding glasses of water for like two hours so they can drive home. Dude, the more drinking water, the better. I think that should be. A I part. honestly don't necessarily mind it, but at the same time, it, I really would like to have another beer too. Just become an alcoholic and carry a flask with you. <laughs> Maybe nah, hard liquor is gnarly. But um, carry a bunch of. In any case, rocks. so I uh, <laughs> rolling rock and flask. I open it up and it's a trench coat full of beers. Or I open up the flask and it foams over because <laughs> it's been it's no good. um the. Uh, so I stayed. This is all theoretical. Thank you. Yeah. So none of this happened, but yeah. I stayed till. The stream two. is theoretical. So let's just say I stayed till two. Also metaphor. I feel like I'm talking like a '70s union guy. So hypothetically, I. Uh, yeah, may you have the old white elephant. Okay. Yeah, I ended up in. It was like last call, and I ended up talking to this like. Like thirty, like almost forty year old woman outside in the conversation. Let me stop you right there. Was she hot? No. Okay. She was fat and had terrible skin. So dragons are real. We're just going to skip that whole story. <laughs> no, no. Hear me out. And then this dude comes out, and he's this, like, giant radical. Nice. He was huge. I like him. He's uh, not as tall as you, but he was a brick shit house. Fuck yeah. That's and he how came out, and we started talking about shit. And it was weird, because he was, like, he was, like, insanely pro-smoking. Good. Like this lady, I guess they knew each other. She's like, "Oh no, I'm quitting cigarettes," and he was like getting on her ass. Like, why? What? I love it. <sighs> yeah, he was like, he was like pissed at her that she wasn't smoking cigarettes. It was fucking bizarre. But in any case, we, it's just crazy in Vancouver right now. You just smoke weed in the streets. Yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah, it, no one, you, Every no time one. They go to downtown. It's like people in their car just like bonks. Like I've seen bonks yeah. multiple times now. Yeah, you can smoke out in the open in <laughs> Vancouver right now. People are just riding around with their bongs. Just yeah, <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah, it's fucking crazy. So I'm hanging out. It's like two fifteen in the morning, and we smoke a joint, and we're talking about fucking everything, and it's it's me and this radical. They're talking about love. Love. Dragons. Dragons. Dragons are um, real. Dragons are real. Dot com. Dragons are real. Uh, the um, dragons are real. Dragons are real. Dot gov. Uh, dragons are real. Dot love. <laughs> dot love. L U V. I wonder if that is a domain you could use. Loveland, Australia, or something. I don't know. The uh, real Loveland, Maryland. That'd be That's where the the that love, be a Bill Gates idea, right there. The Loveland uh, Frogman. And just starting like a love domain. Love, dot love, baby. Dot love. It's all about the love, baby. Yo, RPGHK. So this, uh, hypothetically, this dude busts out some fucking blow. And he has this, like, big-ass Coke spoon and starts feeding me cocaine. Nice. And, yeah, we get all jacked until, like, 4.30 in the morning. And we're right in front of the bar. I'm like, like there's that. a table. It's funny, too, because the guy came out to grab all the furniture from outside. And looked at us, just like, yeah, we're just leaving this outside for you. Did he have kind of longer hair and short hair gear? Former pilot? Red hair. Former pilot? Giant, red hair. Yeah, former pilot? Didn't say anything about being a pilot. Hmm. He had, he was a redhead. Interesting. He was bearded. He might have been there that night, later on. Oh, no. This guy no, was this, was, this was like... This guy was clean shaven. This was a few days ago. Okay. The, uh... But it's like, it just reminded me why I don't do cocaine, like... I did it, and I went home, and I was like, oh, this is fucking, I feel pretty good. And then I'm, like, get halfway home, and it's like, now that I'm getting older, the depression after effects that cocaine causes in me just hit, like, while I was still high on cocaine. Lucky, dude. It was just, like, I'm driving home, I was like, oh, my God, like, what are you doing? You should fucking kill yourself, man. You should fucking kill yourself. It's just like, nice. fuck. So that That's why I don't do that shit. I get that while doing it. Like, I'll hit him like, whoa! And then we'll all be talking about some bullshit. And I'm like, I hate this. I hate this. Like, right. get me out of here. Like, I love these people. But I am trapped in the conversations going that, in circles. Right, that I just don't want to be a part of. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Other than that, like, I I love uppers and speed. Like, you know. Can't at least for art. I haven't done them in a while. But, like, when I'm done, I'm, like, fucking working on shit. Holy moly. That's a good time. Get it done? Oh, my God. Just pounded water and cleaning. and 
I did that once with the D&D campaign. I went on like a 48-hour coke bender, hypothetically. Hypothetically. I had that, yeah. We're, we're just, yeah, we're telling s- stories, like fiction. Mm, metaphorically. Ingratiating goblins. So you're ingratiating a goblin. I was in bed with the goblin, and <laughs> the... Uh, kissing goblins. Kissing goblins, ingratiating goblins. Um, I was, a uh, and I wrote, goblins. like, an entire D&D, like, campaign. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what, okay. And then, like, I went back to it in a couple days. It's like the second half of it is basically incomprehensible. Right. It's like, what was I... <laughs> Dude, that's this book right here. I've been dreading doing the poetry reading, life story thing, for this book. It's, I did mushrooms that time I broke my toe. Well, let me read one. And then, like, oh, God, it's unreadable. It's fucking weird and kind of creepy. But, like, I broke my toe, and I was stuck at home while mystical for two weeks. Writing, like, nature of life shit. Like, I was like, this is my philosophy book. Like, I gotta write philosophical answers to... This is the best. No, that's one of them. That's uh, the concept for one. Uh, What's the, uh, where's the mushroom one? The mushroom one. What are you talking about? Oh, the first, like, hall of it. Where it starts with, like, the fool, the wise man, the tunnel, the darkness, light in a window, windows, you know. Xanax is my go-to. Fuck, dude, that one looks fun. I've never fucked with Xanax. That's a rare one. Who said that? Mr. Day. Theoretically. Nice. Theoretically, he said that. Right. But I did that, In like, theory. years ago. I was a bouncer. Because I had, like, hookups, all these good drugs. Fox Annex was fun. But it was, like, when I, like, did it, like, a handful of times, and then, like, disappeared off the face of the earth. And every time I would go in and tell the doctor I have anxiety, they was giving me these knockoff anxiety pills that were just, like, shitty. Here's some melatonin, kid. And basically, I was like, I don't feel anxiety, but I don't feel anything. This is just an antidepressant, isn't it? God damn it. I'm depressed. I, uh, the one I, uh, really enjoyed that I scored one time was, uh, fucking Valium. Ooh, that's a good one. Have you ever? Oh, yeah. Valium. I've done that with a little morphine. Have you ever had sex on Valium? Not that I know of. I totally understand why everyone was wanting to get prescribed in the 80s after fucking on Valium, man. It is... It is an excellent fuck drug, in my experience. Interesting. I want to try that with Molly, but I'm scared. No, there's a lot of myths surrounding it. it. It's honestly... I feel like I would transcend reality in the middle of it, and, like, come my soul out. I don't think you'd come your soul out. <sighs> I've come close to that already without drugs. Molly, I've, like... I get touched by someone, I'm like... <sighs> Yes. <laughs> right. human contact so it rubs my head it's just like oh my that's one where it really sucks that I can't really do it yeah you told me the depression part is pretty brutal like, a lot of people are like that yeah it's it, it just doesn't seem worth it it's it's like have a really good night for fucking one to two weeks of like really active suicidal thoughts so like fuck I have so much fun days after <laughs> I'm into it there's a worldwide shortage of them yeah, because we're doing them all day. Come on, save some Xanax for the rest of us. We hungry. Pills, 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 pills. Mail, mail us some, uh, mail us some pills. Yeah, mail your pills at cjttv dot love dot love baby. Because it's all about the love, baby. The dragon's real. I think we've proven that so far again. Yeah, once we saw that uh, that furry one from Myanmar or whatever. So now we're, this is the furry cast. So we're just going to look at pictures of furries. I got a good video we could react to that's about furries. I don't want to do no reaction video. We could watch something. I mean, that's not... I don't know if that's good content. Let's yeah, watch probably not. Yeah. For like a minute or two here and there. If it's Dinotopia. Or so there's this animator named Visby Pop. That's the one that worked on Invincible, right? Yeah, she worked with uh, me, Rexplosion himself. We got the actor for Rexplosion here. Yeah, no big deal. I voice acted that fucker. <laughs> CGT TV with the big guests, the big yep. stars. Yeah, you're like Mark Marin, man. Do you want uh, to do a little scene from Invincible for the the, the audience? Uh, a little Rexplosion. Yeah. Oh, I was supposed to. 
Oh, I was supposed to get that seat. It's a little quieter. I was supposed to get that seat. A little quieter. I was supposed to get that seat. Just a little less. That seat. Like you're here. Seat. To here. Seat. Here. Seat. Here. Seat. There. There it is. Seat. Okay. There we go. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, why, good. that's 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 why I get the big bucks, baby. Uh, Amazon Plus. Uh, it's HBO Max. Indivisible. Invisible. It's on HBO Max. In Indivisible. Incomprehensible. Inconceivable. Inconceivable. Uh, now on um, Amazon Max. So back to dragons. Uh, they are real. Um, obviously. <laughs> like, why wouldn't they be? Uh, let me let me just type, type this in. Here, entertainment. Why search? Did you say provide entertainment? <laughs> Actually, I need to get some chicken. Get some chicken. Do you do some dance? Do you dance for a day? I'm too fat. I got so fat during quarantine. I look like shit. Well, uh, I don't know. Do the request. Do you have requests for something? You want yeah, you want to see me do anything? I'll do it. He'll shake his butt for you. I'll, your wish is my command. <laughs> you didn't see that. Uh, <laughs> I could pretend to be a dragon for you. Hell yeah. I could clip my toenails. You want to see that? <laughs> Push up challenge. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you can see. Hold on, I'll get the camera. Whoa, 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 Oh, I can't even go that low. I'm in horrible shape. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus Christ. The fucking, uh, the funny thing is that, like, I'm taking this, like, pee. Hold on, hold on. There we go. He didn't even do a push-up. He was fucking... I did, like, three, and I'm in horrible shape. My wrists cracked, and now they hurt. Such shit. <laughs> I think it's the camera, dude. I call that the one the fat cam. <laughs> I put uh, a wide dude, lens on it. It's like I'm officially like a fat man. That dude, sucks. It's camera. It honestly is, dude. I don't know, man. Dude, it's definitely the camera. I look I'm a fat fucking bastard. No, you're not. I am. Yo, fat cam, coming at you, 12 o'clock in the morning, sway, a.m. There we go. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't worry, I'm here to... Rescue the podcast. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was a bit of dead air, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I got my chicken. <laughs> my pants are falling off. <laughs> I was hoping they'd do it naturally. You didn't see that. Oh my god, dude, I'm wearing boxers. I can't do that. I might flop out. <laughs> <laughs> Your dick's out. <laughs> You've been uh, banned from streaming. I'm trying to not ban from streaming. I'm doing some fucked up shit. Oh, yeah, we've said some pretty controversial shit. Oh, you haven't even seen the Minecraft streams. Pretty brutal. Those were naughty. Pretty naughty? Pretty naughty. In what way? In, like, a frisky kind of way. Yeah, wasn't there, like, a little boy involved? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a school of little boys. <laughs> Straight up, though, is, isn't that how the story goes? What just happened? No, it felt totally upright. Is there a second beer? A second beer? No. Dude, you are so excited. <laughs> I think this is the most excited I've ever seen oh, you. More beer. <laughs> more beer. <laughs> more beer. <laughs> Welcome to the chicken and beer podcast. He's dragons got the, are real. He's got the chickens, I got the beer. We both got uh, differing opinions on whether dragons were real or not. Oh, they're real. I'm like the straight man. I'm not. Well, <laughs> you're the gay guy. I'm the gay guy. <laughs> you're the gay guy. <laughs> okay. How many dragons are real? <laughs> the worst gay dragon ever. 
Welcome to Dragons Are Real. Sounds like a progressive new game. Voice. Sounds like. Yeah, like cock. Yeah, dicks are good. I'm just a man's man. Very gay. Obviously. There's nothing gayer than a man. Nothing gayer than a man fighting a dragon, fighting another man inside him. Like he swallowed a guy and he's in his belly, like trying to punch his way out. But sexually. Right, right. It's a whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. They're real. The dragons are <laughs> oh real. Oh, my God. <laughs> I see you got big fish up there. That movie makes me cry. It's a good movie. It's really good. We can do some DVD re reviews. Yeah. Because yeah, I don't really want to edit the podcast. I think I want to do like one shots of everything. Plus editing the better. I just want to slap this on YouTube. <laughs> slap it on there. You should keep this off of YouTube. I was on YouTube. And then I'm going to take the audio. Just make sure to listen to it and bleep, and bleep names. No. You got to bleep names. I can't edit it. This can't get back to me. Yeah, it would ruin your Amazon career. <laughs> right. Hey, uh, they're canceling uh, <laughs> right-wing voice actors left and right. <laughs> yeah, working on Invincible was cool, though. Yeah. It was, like, it was, it was pretty cool. I mean, I've been in a bunch of movies and shit, but that was probably the coolest one to be involved in. I got to meet uh, Seth Rogen. Nice. Man, that guy farts all the time. He looks like it. it dude, I'm serious. His butt cheese. He's a like he's lost a lot of weight since like the previous time I had seen him before working on Invincible. But like, um, and the last one was he, on Boss he Baby. still has like a fat ass when he farts. And the last movie he worked on was Boss Baby, correct? Uh, two. Made Boss Baby two. Yeah, yeah, I was in Boss Baby two. Nice. That was a good Back one. in business. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I was in, um, I worked with TJ Miller on Christmas Party, or Office Party, oh, Office okay. Christmas Party. He, he looks like he farts a lot, too. Um, he, he's secretive about it. Nice. Almost, like, he'll, like, leave, Look and then you hear the fart, and it'll come back. It's all very obvious. But TJ Miller does, they all fart a lot. That's, Hollywood just farts. That's so TJ. Yeah. Can we get a fart for you, from you? A fart? Is someone asking for a fart? They just asked for a fart. Uh, I might poop my pants, honestly. Oh, he just asked for you to poop your pants. Oh, I can't poop my pants. To poop your pants on stream. <laughs> It'll end up on your carpet. Are you sure? Get a towel. Get a towel and poop your pants. That's what the people want to see. Go. Also, people eating chicken. You talk today. I'm going to go uh, poop my pants in the bathroom. Dude, don't. How many times do you poop? Fucking a lot. Maybe like uh, four to eight times a day. Dragons are real. And an explosion. About to poop his pants. Well, it's just me and you. I don't know if you were out there. It's all could just be one void that I'm talking to. It's an echoing chamber of dark despair and infinite loneliness. Loneliness. And here we are again. Yeah. I thought the way it goes. Ain't that the way it goes? Just rolled like 50 joints. Damn, that's a lot of joints. Dude, I kind of want to get some weed going. Weed? Oh, yeah. You want to press it? I think it's already set up. I'm no. just going to press the oh, bottom left. Here you go. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. It's a rosemary uh, vaporizer. It's aroma therapy. Yeah, we actually just like air vapor. Oh, my God. Did you hear that? Oh. I should have. Uh, yeah, what are you doing? I know I fucked up. This guy. This guy. Legal herbs. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah. I only like marijuana because it's legal. I smoke it because for its legality. 
I don't even smoke it for a high. Just exercising our rights as Americans. Well, just to feel legal. Yeah. Barely legal. Barely legal. legal. Like, I want to, uh, yeah, do anything because it's legal. Like, what do they legalize? Like, they legalize juggling. I'll start getting into juggling. Yeah, the juggling ban's been in effect for, like, hundreds of years. Oh, yeah, if not more. If not more. I saw this fucking juggler get his... Oh. Did you just... That was disgusting, <laughs> He just touched my foot, so I gotta go. I gotta take a shower. <laughs> Barefoot touch, babe. If anything should be criminalized, I think it's um, certain haircuts, like that uh, the mom cut, where it's all like short and kind of like poofy on top, like the typical. Um, I need to speak to the man. I was a waiter for fucking years, and like that meme is true. Like women with that fucking haircut, they're it's like the authority cut. They're weird authoritarian moms. Dudes with that haircut, too. Well, like, Noel Fielding or whatever? Like, who? <laughs> that one should be illegal. Um, I think it should be illegal to uh, name your daughter Crystal. I think it should be illegal to... Advertise drugs on TV. We're one of like two countries in the world that fucking allow that shit. It's like us and like New Zealand for some reason. I think if you're above a certain height, they should shave down your legs and drop you down to a more reasonable height. I think that, uh, It should be illegal to, um, I think albinos should be illegalized. Uh, I think it, uh, it's spelunking out. I think we should, uh, illegalize probably honestly Twitter. I gotta legalize this guy's bullshit. Yeah, at least on his bullshit. You know, in Wisconsin, there's no legal drinking age. Your parents just have to approve. That's pretty cool. Is that some beats? Yeah. Have a beat? Yeah. Were these like yellow, kind of to begin with? Yeah, they're okay. golden, golden beats. Okay. Those that became that. Let's go to Wisconsin and get drunk with some minors. We just have to make friends with their parents. I want to drink with kids. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. I hate drinking with adults. <laughs> you can legally get hammered at 12 in Wisconsin. That's wild. But you can only. I hope you can join the military at 11. I hope Wisconsin's like, get them in the army. Immediately. Army brats? Oh, yeah. What should be the drinking age, though? I like 21 ish. I kind of like 30, though. For drinking? I think that'd be kind of cool. Can you mention a bunch of sober ass, like 20 somethings? They'd be invincible. Getting shit done? Yeah. And in the 30s, it's like, all right, you like did a bunch of shit. Now you get to drink and forget your sadness for all the war you had to do. So, in countries where... Cheers. Oh, is that some sake? Maybe the... <laughs> I feel like I'm not even cam. Can you change that a little bit? There we go. Uh, that makes me look fat. A little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's the stuff. 
Just outside the rule of thirds, baby. Can't make it look good. Oh, dude. These are good, man. Great. I feel like Doug. I boiled them in a little bit of beef broth. Really? Mm -hmm. It's nice. I should put a little more in there, but... Beef boiled beets? Mm-hmm. Beef beets. I was going to boil it with some beef, but it wasn't that good the one time I did it. I'm more like realize you should just eat beets and eat beef later. The two of them don't mix that well. Beets and beef? Well, get that fatty. Mm. Welcome to the Beet Podcast. This is a beet cast. Beet cast. You have to listen to us chew on these fibrous beets. No. Well, we drop some mean beets. Yeah, go buy a beat, baby. Some beats, baby. I got a beat for you right here. You want that beat? <laughs> this doesn't look particularly appetizing. On they don't look partic particularly appetizing in general. It's good close up of them. That's a beat. In case you haven't seen one, about as real as dragons. Maybe a little less real. Well, I had Scott Farkas. What's that? Yeah, it's from a Christmas story, one of your least favorite films of all time. Rotating that out. <laughs> I was gonna start calling you Scott Farkas. Or calling you Rot Farkas. <laughs> Brot like like <laughs> Like rotten. bratwurst. Like rotten. <laughs> Rot fartus. Rotten fartus. <laughs> so any uh, funny stories from the set of uh, Invincible? Oh yeah. So um So I'm doing my lines in the booth. Yeah. And uh it was like because it was produced by Seth Rogen. So he comes in to the booth. We're 12, by the way. But we're also in Wisconsin. So. Yeah, we're 12-year-olds in Wisconsin. Yeah, that's fine. Our parents approve. Our parents are in the next room. Right. Keep it down in that Ronnie. <laughs> Shut up, Mom. Seth Rogen's calling. <laughs> so, uh, I'm in the booth. And I'm doing this, like, awesome line where I'm like, Rexplode! And, uh... And it was, like, such a perfect take, and I've been working on it for, like, five takes already. And right at the end, as I'm saying Rexplode, Seth Rogen rips this gigantic fart. Oh, man. He's and it's, his boy. ass cheeks are... I think he has a lot... Because he lost all that weight. I think he has a lot, a lot of extra skin around his butt cheeks. That happens. It sounded like someone clapping. Like, applause. Ah. We're kind of like two burlap sacks in the wind. And I look over and he's just smiling at me. <laughs> that sounds like so. And he just leaves the booth and closes the door and I'm just stuck in there with his fart. Oh, he seems like the kind of guy. Yeah. It just smelled like, I don't know. It smelled like fresh, freshly baked bread. It's not what I imagined. It was weird. But uh, he... Uh, that was my. That was one of my main interactions with him. Imagine. But every time I saw him, he's just ripping giant farts. It never stops. Yeah, I've, I've heard of that. I wonder if he actually. I bet if we looked it up, he's going to kill me for this. By the way, it's probably known. Well, yeah, you're going to be in some trouble after this podcast. No, it's fine. No one's going to see it. I don't think they're going to do a season two anyway. I mean, I've been. I've been on a lot of, like you know, comedy actor. I got my start in stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Doing rooms in uh, where I'm from in uh, New Mexico. How'd that make you feel? How'd that make you, me feel? How'd that make you feel? About what? <laughs> Just about yourself. Him farting? No. Or doing stand up? Doing stand up. Oh, well. As a young Latinx boy. Latinx. My name is Latinx Lux Explosion. <laughs> 
Oh, well, I mean... I fucked a lot of men, that's for sure. <laughs> that's a gun. What are you getting your boyfriend? No, I don't know. They're all just, waiting for it. They're all too feminine for me these days. You want a masculine boyfriend? I thought you liked the kind of like sound boys. I like to fuck them. I couldn't date one. Why? Because they just act like women. What? I don't like women. And there's all these gay guys just acting like all the most annoying aspects of a woman, like distill. So you want like a lumberjack? Yeah, something like that. Oh. Someone fibrous, like a beet. Gross. And gay. But with a lot of sugar. No more beets for you. <laughs> you wear basketball shorts. You see what you're doing. I <laughs> see what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> beets. What's for dinner? What do we have? A minute? Six? Are we going for one minute? No, it's been an hour. Oh, damn. The wheat's probably good to go. Oh, yeah, shit. Put that up. Part two. I think we can do two hours, right? Sure. I don't know how entertaining it's going to be. I really wish we had the... Uh, that first 20 minutes. Yeah, we kind of lost our flow a little bit. I know, we were killing it. It hurts when you find out it's not working. Oh, yeah. It's just like, damn. What's the point of anything? Well, we have an old fallback we can go to. Just talk about Jews. You can talk about Jews? What do you got to say about Jews or explosion? <laughs> well, first of all, they run Hollywood. Do they? I mean, all the producers. Like, just look at the fucking last names. Like what? Schmulowitz. Schmerkelwitz? Schmulowitz. You just made that up. Shmul yeah, what a Schmulowitz. What the fuck is a Schmulowitz? Well, he's a famous producer. I don't even... We got uh, Jeffrey Epstein. What's Weinstein? It's Epstein. Oh. I like his movies. Yeah. His home, his home videos. The Bill Clinton one is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, the one with the uh, Bill Clinton. The Bill Bill Gates and Bill Clinton one. That's right. A when you actually see him extracting the adrenochrome, adrenochrome from the gland. That's oh, my favorite. The tag team, that baby. Yeah. Yeah, those funny boys. The boys will be boys. <laughs> boys will be boys. Politicians will be politicians. And boys will be Boys. Boys will go to an island. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never, horrible and things. never leave. <laughs> never leave. And never get in trouble for it. Yeah, no one's getting in trouble. No. They should. They should be in big trouble. In little China. Controversial opinion. I think Jeffrey Epstein should be in trouble. Yeah, I think he got in big trouble. I think. We should have slapped his wrist like a hundred times. At least. Well, he did get murdered. Yeah, but not enough. Ah, uh, murdered more. Overkill. Right. Pulled apart by two oxen. God, I love that. That's what's wrong with our country is we don't do that. Yeah, we should be pulling people apart with oxen. Oh, yeah. Dude, I just came up with a really good idea for a podcast. What's that? A podcast where two people are both on their phones, casually talking. That sounds lame as fuck. Like one's playing like a cool podcast game, the other one's a fucking goofus. <laughs> here's, plays, the, here's the goofus. Plays baby games. Me? Who do you think? You're playing Ebony. Yeah, like a fucking goddamn champion. Like a monarch. What are you playing? Donna Man? Dawn of Man was good. <coughs> that was a good fucking game. It's, it's like the babies. caveman simulator. For babies. It's good. It's a it's very a it's a very complex oh, game. Sure. It sure. really is. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. The, do you time manage for weeks with a compiled strategy of layering your troops and 
mixing your foundations into a diverse portfolio of power. When P.T. Barnum was talking about how there's a sucker born every minute, and I'll take him for all they've got, I think he was weirdly prophetically talking about Ebony. No. When Boss Baby 2 was like, this game's for babies. I think you were like, what Don't game you is dare that? talk shit on Boss Baby 2. I love that like project. I would like to play that game. You did pretty good at that. So how was your time working with uh, Mark Ruffalo? Oh, I just brushed elbows with him. I was an extra in Avengers Endgame. Oh, okay. He seemed nice, though. We got a lot of chats asking that. The biggest asshole of the bunch, without a doubt, was Paul Rudd. More like Paul Crud. More like Paul Crud. The guy's a diva. He's... I, I don't like to... Uh, Use this word lightly, but that motherfucker is an evil pedophile sociopath. Probably like half, right? No, I mean, I feel bad about saying that because all characters aside, I fucking love Paul Rudd. And I've heard he's nothing but a fucking a beautiful person. Kind of like, uh, who's that, Chris? <laughs> And the Parks and Rec? Chris Pratt. Yeah. One of those guys. That guy, like, he's up there for dudes I don't want to have, like, a beer with. They were coming after him because he hunts. Well, they were going after him for being Christian. Yeah. That's really what it is. Oh, you're Christian. Oh, so you hate gay people? Is that what you're saying? That's how it was today with my dad and Maddie, man. They were like, oh, no. Oh, no. I used all my five minutes beat ups. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was an accident. I feel bad for Don, man. I, I, Me too. Just like, fuck. He's, everything you've said, he just seems trapped. No, he's in a good spot. It's just, he just needs to get his unemployment. <laughs> that's a good spot, that's, that's, right? that's a good spot. Yeah, that's a good spot for you. You just gotta get unemployment. <laughs> Uh, do you have uh, any pictures of Maddie? No. no. <laughs> Why would I have pictures of Maddie? I don't know. Like, there's my stepsister. Like, <laughs> like a Facebook. No, she's like anything like that. I think her profile pics. My boyfriend's word. family is so homophobic. It's fun just fucking with them all day. Dude, that's oh yeah, I, that's the best. That's why I wish I was gay. I would fuck with people so hard. All the time. Like, especially homophobes. Like, me and Gunner used to dress and drag and go to, like, redneck bars. Like, we went to Jake's and then, like, I think the Ice House. Yeah. So we heard bikers hang out there. Ice House. That's a pretty old... Or not Jake's. Uh, the one in Yak Hole. You know what I'm talking about, right? No. I've never been to a bar in Yak Hole. Oh, an Amboy, Amboy. Never been to a bar in Amboy. Nick's. Nick's. Nick's Tavern. Well, how? I, I've never... I've never drank out there. It's good. It's good. I used to have an Elvis pinball machine. Oh, you told me about that. But we went there and drag because we're two brutes. So we're just hoping to like beat up rednecks and dresses. Yeah. And I was like, man, that's such fun. Like just fucking with people. Like a giant gay man. What are you going to do? I do. I wear a boa. No, I mean like if, if you're like someone who's like, oh, this fucking guy. Right. And then it's like, hey, you. And you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm going to beat you so hard it's going to be a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> beat up some homophobes. Sounds like a good time. Yeah. Did we already smoke all the weed? Or vaped all the vapor? Vaporous air? The rosemary aromatherapy? Yeah. That was fast. We had to get a vaporizer for here. I mean, you just plug it in here. Dude. I like think things just work like that. <laughs> this guy over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's a this fucking, this fucking mad man. Let's meet all, let's move all the weed rigs in here. Take like 30 Do you minutes. Think have you seen have, did you reload have it? Seen did you reload it? Yeah. It's like before the last bag? Yeah. Yeah, let's do another. Yes, master. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to do that voice for a D and D. <laughs> And just like pick someone. Don't do that. <laughs> what these desire? Don't do that ever again. <laughs> Dude, that's horrifying. Yeah. 
Well, how are you doing, Jay? How's long time no see? How was life? I'm assuming you're in Wisconsin getting hammered. Remember when we played D and D with twelve year olds? Did we play D and D? Who? Oh my god, I forgot about that. You know this guy IRL? Yeah. Oh, cool. Or not IRL. Well, pretty much. Boy chance IRL. I see. I've just been living life. Nothing spectacular. Hell yeah, living life is spectacular. That's good stuff. Also, dragons. They're real. And spectacular. Look it up. Very spectacular. <laughs> Look it up. Dragons are real. Yeah. It's the whole show. Dragons are real. Look it up. <laughs> 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 I got nothing else to say on the back. Yeah, look it up. The, the data has been collected. Look it up. You, go what on you, Google and check it out. What you're going to want to do is go on YouTube and type in not Dragons not Are not Real. Not real. You start with Wikipedia. Wikipedia that shit. Look it up. And keep looking it up. <laughs> <laughs> go fucking Jeeves. Ask Jeeves. Go ask Jeeves <laughs> if Dragon's are real. He's going to say yes. Is that safe yes. still active? Maybe. He's going to say yes. Yeah, I remember when we played D&D. &D. Was I want to stream the... Oh, dude. So, uh, I was playing King of Death with Nick the other day. Yeah. We finished the campaign. Oh, interesting. You beat it? Yeah. You beat the game? Yeah. It's cool. The ending's terrible. But, uh, it's really bad. I can't want to spoil it, but I Spoil don't. it. Nah, I don't know if I should. But we're thinking about doing. Come on, I want to know. You get killed. Like, no matter what happens, you die. Like, you fight this, like, smoke monster, and then, like, you kill it, and then it releases a bunch of smoke that kills you. If you don't kill it, it just kills you. So, no matter what, it kills you. Kingdom Death. What'd you expect? That's kind of my, what I said. It was, it was good while it lasted, it just was really lame. Because it was, like, a cool, epic fight, too. Yeah. And then he's just like, you die. No matter what, you die. Can you bring the salt? Yeah. Salt these beats. Salt these beats. I'll salt these beats. Salt. Salt, 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 salt these beats. I'll salt these beats. I'll salt these beats. Salt, 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 beats up. Salt these beats up. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it with some salt. Salt, 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 salty beats. Salty beats, salty, 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 salty beats, 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 salty beats, salty beats. Have you ever seen a movie called From Beyond? I think I have it. Like on disc? Yeah, that's a Dario Argento, right? No, it's the same guy who did Reanimator, I forget his name. Yeah, okay, yeah, I think I have that. It's a good fucking movie, man. This dude, like, they make this machine where it, like, uh, vibrates. It's like a giant, it's like this big device attached to, like, a tuning fork. And it, like, vibrates you into, like, adjacent realities in the direct vicinity. And it's like... <sighs> there's I think the, I have that. Huh? I think I have that. You don't? No, I think I have that. Good movie. Speaking of good movies, Donnie Darko. All around me are familiar faces. Worn out faces. Worn out faces. Can you sing that more than I listen to the drum my sorrow. No tomorrow. No tomorrow. And I find it kind of funny.
Yeah, that's the most memorable thing about that movie for me is that fucking song. And then, like, Patrick Swayze is, like, a pedophile or something. Two discs. Yeah, the second one probably has, like, a director's commentary on it or something. Production diary. Wow. Oh, a few dark darkometry. There's a dark a darkometry. <laughs> Number one fan of darkometry. It's a pretty weird movie. Director's cut. I've never seen. I've never seen cut. the director's cut. I'm intrigued. I think everything will make more sense <clears throat> once you watch the director's cut. Dude, apparently Death Stranding getting a, a director's cut. The stuff Kojima wanted in there. I guess, yeah. Interesting. I'm pumped, dude. I love... That game got a bad rap. It's incredible, though. Dude, I think that showed the stupidity of gamers. Yeah. I'm sorry, I know this is Twitch, but fuck gamers, alright? They stupid. Like, that game was amazing. Man, you gamers are stupid. Dude, if you don't like Death Stranding, if you don't like Ebony, you're a stupid person. <laughs> Death Stranding you're and Ebony stupid are idiot. your two paragons. You're a stupid idiot. The fucking, the game designed to entrap idiots and Death Stranding. Dude. Uh, one game to attract beautiful, intelligent minds. And, and then another that's... one to attract beautiful, intelligent minds. <laughs> oh my god. Like, what more do you want? <laughs> Ebony online. Dude, it's, it's the big tit advertisement elf game. Dude, get mercy to uh, eat some salt. Put some salt on that beat. Give me some sake. Dude, put some salt on that beat. You gotta try with the salt. I'll hold the beat. We squeeze the salt. Is your cat in your room? No, the cat's with my girlfriend. Oh. She wanna stay for like two and a half weeks. Three weeks. We're moving in together soon. <laughs> she moving in here? Yeah. Cool. Right? I'm pumped. Artist couple. That's what's up. Three desks in here. Cubicles. Water cooler. Ooh. Bigger whiteboard. Literal water cooler talk. Yes. Big whiteboard. Big whiteboard, cubicle, fake plants. Yeah. Four of them. And some motivational pictures. Hang in there. Ow. Ow. That's so weird. The camera angles. How crazy it would be if we saw, like, a ghost? A ghost. Oh my god, dude, don't even scare me. Like seeing something move in the background or something. Dude, I feel like I've had that, the hotel stream. I don't yeah. know if you were there, Dave, but there's some people that were like, dude, I swear to god, I just saw like something in that like little closet. Because there's this creepy little closet. Yeah. They go into this creepy underground like basement of the hotel. It was like a hundred year old hotel. Yeah. Which goes into like this old abandoned rotted out spa. Into like the storage room that goes into like this tiny closet that would keep like heaters and fans and shit. And as I was leaving, they were like, oh, "Dude, I t we totally like, there's totally something behind you. Like, what? The, who the fuck is that? Like, are you yeah. fucking with us? Like, quit trolling." And I was like, "Oh fuck!" That's Did you go back and look at it? Oh yeah. What'd you see? Fans and heaters. Nothing. Oh, for the footage. Yeah. I was all fucked up. Yeah. Like, uh, static and stuff? Glitchy and, like, stuttery and bad. Interesting. Mostly because of the reception. I don't think it's supernaturally fucked up. It was just, like, it cut out after, like, five minutes because it was in the basement. So the reception there is kind of weird because it's, like, a hotel, so it's very cemented and kind of, like, imagine just harder to get reception in. Still. Pretty yeah. spooky. One time, I was in my parents' place. This was years ago. I was walking down the hall. I want to see the quiet place on acid. It had me thinking about it. SMN, like what happened? Quiet. SMH? What's in the SMN? Summon? About it. If summon like that happened. Oh, something happened like that. 
something. Okay. I would love that. When I first watched the first one, I was like, this isn't even a horror movie. This is like my fantasy movie. <laughs> Everyone's everything's really quiet. I'm not even shitting you. <laughs> the whole time watching, I was like, this would be amazing. Anyone who breaks the rules dies. I was so like I daydreamed about it for like weeks. Because <laughs> living in Olympia, I was just like, man, it'd be so cool if aliens invaded. It made us all shut the fuck up. It made everyone really quiet. Oh, dude. Permanently silent. I was like, yes. All day, every day. That's up my alley. These aliens are my friends. I would, I would do well. I'd cough like one time. I'd probably get me killed. <laughs> yeah. They don't address that. Like, what if you got a cough? Of course. <laughs> I think just run or like move as quickly as you can to their little like soundproof <laughs> bunker. You have to like cough heavy in your arm, and, or like It'd be hard to smoke weed. Like you start. Well, I was too also loud. thinking like, okay, you have to take a shit, and sometimes without expecting it, you get like big fucking farts when you shit. This is the shit cast, by the way. It's not the shit man and the fart boy. The dragons are real. Welcome to the shit cast, everyone. Part two with the actor who played Rex Explosion. Rex Explosion <laughs> on the invisible sh- on the in, in, in uh, HBO Max is invisible on that's so Raven as well. He played the uh, token Mexican character. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Raven family. Hey, <laughs> <Anyway>, that's <laughs> that's good. So, how would you describe your your experience on Proud Family? The Proud Family. <laughs> yeah. I played uh, Dijonay. <laughs> Dijonay! <laughs> and I did get some pushback because I'm a man. Your role in that was great, by the way. Oh, everyone, she's everyone. Dijonay is everyone's favorite. It's, you know, definitely the least racist character. She was, in she was very rich and vibrant. And appreciated <laughs> in that a lot. Yeah. You brought it out. You brought it out. My favorite yeah, ones yeah. are like the the blue sisters. It's just <laughs> you know your proud family. I'm photographic with animation. Oh, you told me. What was the one you're going on about? One of them. Where I was like, did he watch Rugrats? Oh, I know. I know a lot about Rugrats. Dude, you told me Rugrats shit. Where it was like you watched it that morning. No, I watched That's it when I was a child, and I remembered no. it. <laughs> Dude, I've not watched Rugrats and. Probably 20 years. No, you told me shit from the Rugrats. It's like, he watched it recently. No. Like, really recently. No way. I just have a really good memory for that shit. I don't know. I've heard rumors. <laughs> you haven't heard any rumors I've that I watch rumors. Rugrats. <laughs> I don't... Uh, it's not the word around the street. <laughs> word on the street. It's word on the street. Word on the street. You watch Rugrats. Rugrats. Explosion's a big Rugrats guy. Right, big Rugrats guy. Yeah, I, uh... I tried to get on Rugrats, but I couldn't. Uh, yeah. Uh, they, all, I, well, I tried to get on All Grown Up. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you were. I, I, was try, I was going for the role of Dill Pickles. You are Dill Pickles. <laughs> and all Grown Up. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I'm walking around with his <laughs> that was shoes high on his hands. They're just like, Rex Explosion, like yelling at people. Right. Rex Explosion? Caliente. They call me the tanks. You're just running <laughs> at people. Right. With my shoes on my hands. Yeah. Yep. Hey, Chucky. How's it going? You want to do some acid? <laughs> Angelica's got some coke. She might let me touch her little boob. <laughs> her little boob. <laughs> my shoe hand. <laughs> Yo, pass on beats. Nope. You guys saw it get it. They just pair well together, right? Yeah, honestly. Right? I bet they grow beets in Japan. I'd be shocked they didn't. Northern Japan is basically Russia. Dude, everyone should grow beets. Everyone should eat beets. They're good for you. Yeah. The dog good for the environment, too. Quail Man was right. Once again. It's kind of his Rugrats lore. No, that's Doug I lore. That's Doug. Did you say I know that's? I Doug. know that's. Doug. I know that's Doug. Something <laughs> started on Doug. Doug was like the lamest cartoon. I don't know my favorite though. Me too. It, it was. In, I think it was my first. It was like restrained, a bit more realistic. No. 
sleepy. My parents kind of looks like Doug's parents. I do not remember. I just imagine the Rugrats' parents. <laughs> With the big, the, the big orange hair. The starfish hair. Dude, she has showed up when I've been really high on, uh, what was that fucking weird hallucination? Salvia. Salvia. I get Rugrats shit, too. I get, like, Rugrats vision. I get, me too. It's so fucking weird. We're like, it's like, I've heard it from a number of other people. Like, you perceive really? everything. Yeah, yeah. You perceive That's everything so in the animation style of the Rugrats. That's so good to know. Yeah, yeah. Me too. I had that with, like, it would get weird. I remember one time, there was a bunch of baseball angels. They look like Rugrats cartoon characters. And they're floating around like, and I was just like, I've gone insane. Like, <laughs> Salvia is And they just start laughing about it in maniacal madness. Right? <laughs> Salvia is fucking crazy. That's a horrifying drug. <laughs> it really is. We fucked the... Like, compared to that to like mushroom strips where it's like, oh wow, like I've centered myself, I've lost the bullshit is my existential ego. It's an eight. Salvia is just <laughs> <laughs> Screaming, <laughs> weird little characters doing fog, <laughs> crazy shit. It's so weird. Oh, uh, in Mike Wilson's side house, that was our main like trip day. That's so good. And I re- I had one Salvia trip there, and it was like I was on like a jungle train. Oh, yeah. And immediately, the jungles were a thing too. Yeah, and like, like jungles and rugrats. And Mike Wilson. Turned into Dino with the dinosaur from the Flintstones. Of course. <laughs> like, we were never <laughs> it's like, I don't... I can totally see that. No, it's like, Salvia is in a whole different fucking category from... I've done DMT. How is that one legal? <laughs> I know, that's of the all one... all the ones illegal. <laughs> that one should be seriously the illegal. One of pure badness. <laughs> yeah, illegal. liquefied fuck. And you're like, it's gross, too, because most people sweat profusely. <laughs> like, you're on, you have the experience for, like, no more than five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even then, five minutes in, like, a cartoonish hellscape, <laughs> <Right>. jungle, <laughs> hot, fishy. I mean, everything smells like fish. <laughs> it's sweat. slightly rotating and spiraling in on yeah, itself. Going into new... And <laughs> visions of space madness. time is bending around you. I can't do it again. It's been so long. I think they made it illegal. I only had one bad <laughs> trip, and that was with my that was with Alexa. And I remember because she got really needy, and she's like, oh, "Do you love me now?" <laughs> I oh my god! Me. Basically, something to the effect of that, <laughs> and then started like climbing on me. And I was tripping, just like, this reptar is fucking, like, <laughs> falling on me. Dude, what do I do? So, I did it in a moving car once. Damn. It was not a good idea. Were you driving? No. I was going to say. I was yeah. in the passenger seat. That'd be kind of fun, then. It was pretty fucked up. Oh, that sounds fun. Hunter, I believe it was Hunter, <coughs> or maybe Brandon, that same session, jumped out of the moving car. Yeah, nice. I think it was Hunter, honestly. <coughs> what a badass. Jumped out of the moving car, <coughs> tumbled, got up and started running the opposite direction. Did you guys get, how, did you guys get, what's it called? Did you guys get things patched up? Yeah, there's peace. Cool. Good. Makes me happy. I pray for you guys. Shit fucking bothers me. Do some salvia about it. Yeah. <laughs> Put that on a shirt. <laughs> do some salvia about it. <laughs> I'm a big salvia advocate. Do it, dude. I think that if you do it enough, you can learn to decode the madness. Dude, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Long-term Selvian users. Having done off Tommy Pickles, just laughing. 
having done salvia so many times, there's always like weird little characters. <laughs> At least one throughout here, like a weird little Most of them. Yeah. I'm holding the suit. Just doing weird glitching fucking <laughs> goblin shit. You're just being like thrust through these horrible <laughs> visions. You're know, like just really sweating and just like, what's going on? What's happening? <laughs> Yeah. That's so accurate, though. <laughs> hey, check this out. <laughs> oh, he's on salvia. That's for sure. <laughs> he's got a salvia vape pen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Sweating profusely. Joe Rogan, I think everyone should do drugs all the time. Right. Man, whenever you want. Joe Rogan should do some salvia. Oh, that would be fucking weird. Doing salvia on, on stream. I feel like you would meditate through it. Like you take on the craziness. And just like, oh, that shit's always in my mind. Everyone's in <laughs> frog grab vision. He takes like whatever trinket he has in the middle of the table. Like a velociraptor skull or some shit. Just... Beats Jamie to death. He goes directly for Jamie. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's like he goes full ape. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's like fucking Tom Arnold across from the desk. Like Tom Arnold is the best. He, <laughs> he needs to be more shit. That guy is funny. Fuck Tom Papa. No, not Tom Papa. Tom Arnold. Yeah, but fuck Tom Papa, man. He's boring. He's a little fucking slave slut. Really? What's a slave slut? Oh, just like, he was... So Joe brought up the Fauci emails. And he's like, yeah, and, and he's like, yeah, I've read them. And then Joe kept bringing all, out all this stuff. He's like, oh, well, I, I didn't know that was in there. He's like, this guy hasn't read the Fauci emails. He's just no. a, a liar. I doubt anyone has. I haven't even read the Fauci emails. I've read probably... 20 or 30 pages of it. It's, uh... I read all of it, though. Well, most of it's... doesn't have that much. It's like, <coughs> oh, yeah, like, lunch sounds good at this place. Mm -hmm. But there is stuff in there where it's, like, internal correspondence. Dude, my eyes are so watering from that. I was... I was trying to keep it low as best I could. <laughs> but that was, uh, that was fucking good earlier. I'm still recovering. We should do clips. So we should do the podcast and then clip choice parts. Because I feel like there's going to be like dead space and us just being full retard. Yeah. And then just have like... And that'll parts. be one of the things we cut out is... No cutting. Like we'll have the full podcast. <coughs> it just will probably get removed off YouTube. Oh, fuck YouTube. But the bits. The bits. Batch. Bats. A good example would be Bats. Tom Segura's podcast, where That's lame. I'm glad they've removed it. Have they removed it yet? No. Ah, they need to remove it. They lost their McDonald's sponsorship, though. Don't they remove the the good ones? They never remove the bad ones. I like your mom's house. That one, Burt Kreischer's, H three H three, Mark Tiger get Belly. Him get him out of here. Tiger Belly's okay. Tiger Belly's weird. Like, he hits his watched, wife in one episode, for real. I've only watched two episodes of it. There's an episode where he hits his wife, kind of for real. Bobby Lee? Yeah. I believe it. And it's, like, still up there, like, oh, shit. It's creepy. There must have been some context. She was defying him pretty bad. Bobby Lee. <laughs> he can be subservient to that man. <laughs> Look at him. He's this tiny little nasty Korean guy. He looks like a slug. <laughs> With a cap and everything. Yeah. Greasy hair coming down. Okay. <laughs> the He's slug. slug like. Yeah, I used to do rooms. I used to open for him, actually. Yeah. Was this before or after Boss Baby 2? This was far. This is when I was just a 12-year-old little with tanks. I was working with Bobby. 
Hey, the guy's an asshole. Yeah. He's got a good asshole. Yeah. I've had anal sex with Bobby Lee like five times. Nice. So is that on the Me Too thing? Should I be Me Too? Was it consensual? Oh, no. He raped me. Yeah, okay. Can you make that official? Yeah, Bobby Lee raped me. Okay. Bobby Lee... Heard first, Bobby Lee re raped the voice actor for an explosion on Disney Plus is invisible. <laughs> Disney Plus, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> nice. Well, full circle here. Dragons are real. I think, if anything, this podcast has really pretty deeply do dove into that dug up the deepest kernels of truth we could from the, the, the core layer of, of this the question of the question are dragons real and like yeah they aren't dragons are real but since he thinks they're not let's keep going into it so we left off <laughs> <Alexander> <laughs> the you're great. going for it Andrew. we left it Al Alexander the Great also Donnie Darko on DVD for sponsors <laughs> by Donnie Darko <laughs> On DVD. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is the director's cut. Yeah, I haven't seen the director's cut. Me neither. <laughs> it's a good movie. Children of Men. I fucking love this movie. I haven't watched it. Really? Or is it good? Oh my god. I want to burn it and then let you borrow it. Is this the one that... Um, I don't like sci-fi. I'll just torrent it. It's, I, have, I have all the media ever at my disposal. You like sci-fi, right? It... I think I've seen like 15 minutes. Here's the scene I saw. The long shot? No. Oh. I someone, someone was watching it and I came over and I got to see the scene where they were hanging out with some like famous British guy. Yeah. Who like the guy in real life is famous. It might have been Michael Caine or someone, but they were like smoking weed in like this little self-sufficient area with this old pothead and his wife or whatever. Yeah. And these guys came up and just like executed the old man and his wife. And everyone's stoned. And it's children of men. I, I got a vibe from it. It's very like everything's breaking down. It's intense. So these people are smoking weed for the first time. Their tolerance is zero. So everyone's really high. Oh yeah. And then, like, people just start getting executed, and it's like this roving band of dudes. Because it's pretty much only dudes. And Children of Men, or <laughs> who you're hanging out with? No, in Children of Men, like, there's no more women being born, right? No, there's no one being born. No one is being born. Yeah. And there's they women. have a baby. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful premise. I think, if anything, it sounds like what's probably going to happen. Kind of with the vaccine and COVID, where it's like, it's supposed to fuck with your fertility. And a bunch of other shit, like plastics, mm -hmm. uh, like a lot of BPHs and BBPs and stuff. Like, it's supposed to completely fuck your sperm count or home hormones. And uh, as well as metals and stuff that we get in pollution. Just in general, it seems like that's a weird trajectory that's being picked up on. Just infertility. Eventually we'll be, like, pretty infertile. Which we'll probably need for population control for a while. So thank you, Bill Gates. We appreciate that. You're saving the world. You're fucking hero. Yeah, that's his actual goal is to <clears throat> probably is reduce the population. Probably is. I'll bet a lot well, of those. Do you know guys. about the Georgia Guidestones? <clears throat> Vaguely. Yeah, those are the six ones built with like a weird In a bunch of different languages. Yeah. And it was built by like some mysterious fucking early billionaire. He was like an oil guy. Yeah. But uh I guess 500 million is the target number planetary, according to that. I just gotta read this. Alexander the Great Dragon. In 330 BC, after Alexander the Great invaded India, he brought back reports of seeing a great hissing dragon living in a cave, which people were worshipping as a god. One of Alexander the Great's lieutenant, Onascritus, stated that the Indian king Abyscaris kept serpents that were 120 and 210 feet long. So from there, I kind of want to see Dragons of India. I'm going to follow this thread. Uh, Hindu theology is the shit. It reads much more like a history than a, 
So they have rows of dragons, apparently. <laughs> Wait, go to the top of this website. Ah, he. Dragons of fame. Definitely English. The endless to the Nagas. So Nagas are a dragon. <clears throat> apparently a lot of them are Nagas. Or Hydras. Oh, and they have Dragons little categorizations. Russia. That's cool. Serpent waste. Oh, I'm bookmarking this. For Hydra, sure. Hydra. Probably bookmark. Serpent waste. Like they have like the a serpent below the waist. That's fucking cool. Dude, this is the best website ever. I'm gonna look up so many dragons. Did you ever know? <clears throat> How do I do this? Bookmark this tab? Yeah. I always like a. In D&D, &D, the ability to, like, name a dragon. Oh, so you could go in. Oh, my gosh. Are these all... Whoa. There's so much information. I did not expect them to have all this. Uh, he was a huge, greedy dragon. He drank all the waters of the world and then coiled on top of the mountains. There, the Naga held all the water, unwilling to return it to the earth, which badly needed it. The god Indra then attacked Ani with lightning bolts. Ah, he. Ah, he. Aye. After yeah. Aye. So woo. So woo woo. Yeah. Coming to the west side of Nanjing. Tung kung ta. Nye. You know what I'm saying? Sure. After Indra slew Aye, the waters returned to the world. Aye symbolizes drought. When the spring comes and melts the mountain of lost snow, the water comes down much as it does in the myth. Aye was an enormous Naga. A human faced snake. Hey, what up, Naga? Human faced snake. Can you say that word? Naga? Like, what up, Naga? I think we just found out we can. This is dangerous. Now I'm going You're kind of calling the person a snake. But. A dragon, too. Uh, I mean. Well, what's a Naga? Let's look at what a Naga is. Let's get the definition look at, yeah, of a Naga. This no, is no, a hard dive here. We're hard don't diving. don't go on the specific website. Look up a third party for Naga. Obviously, you should have kept that tab. I did. I bookmarked it. Oh, very nice. Oh, no. Naga in Hinduism, also Sanskrit for serpent. Buddhism and Jainism, a member of a class of mythical semi-divine beings, half human and half cobra. They are cobra. a strong, handsome species. <laughs> handsome. Species who can... Like, why do they throw the handsome in there? This is, this is Britannica. They are a strong, handsome species who can assume... Well, they, they're beautiful people. to look at. That's what that means. They're pleasing to... Oh, that's right. They're women. No, no not all. Let's not imagine, dude, Nagas. Come on, dude. Don't make it gay. No, there's there's plenty of Nagas. All right, make it gay. What kind of Naga are you envisioning? I'm envisioning a, a species that has both male and female members, like every Ooh, other. Ooh, some hermaphrodite shit. Or maybe. Nice. Trans, I like where this Well, they gone. probably got cloacas anyways. No, this is very progressive. I'm into it. Some trans Nagas. No, nah, I'm pretty sure there's Nagas in the in Hindu theology that are like identified as male and some that are identified as female, though. Who can assume either holy human or holy serpentine form and are potentially dangerous but often beneficial humans. So, this is kind of where a shape shifting dragon reptile thing comes Giant in. Giant snake. Interesting. Well, it says it could assume either holy human or holy serpentine right. form. So, it could change. So, it's a shape shifting reptilian. Right. A reptilian shape shifter. Damn. I didn't know we were going to stumble into this. Looks like the dragon. <laughs> Rabbit hole goes deep. The dragon hole goes the deep. The reptilian hole. The butthole. The cloaca. The cloaca hole goes deep. The clo clo cloacal orifice. The cold blooded asshole goes deep. <clears throat> and cold. And scared. I uh, just got done taking a herpetology class. It was fucking amazing. It was an awesome class. It made me feel really smart because I already knew half the shit. Once again, this is where I need a, a soundboard so I could just do fart noises. Fart. <laughs> that was a little bit of a self pump up. That was a little bit of a self validation statement, but whatever. I'm proud of it. I'm fucking proud of it. You should be. I'm a. I think I was a. I'm a born biologist. 
And I just spent too much time partying. Like a bored guyologist. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, though. What do you got for Nog on Wikipedia? Uh, divine, semi-divine, semi-divine race, half-human, half-serpent, reside in the underworld. Badiala. Agartha. Badiala. And can occasionally take human form. Rituals devoted to these supernatural beings have been taking place throughout South Asia for at least 2,000 years. They are principally depicted in three forms. Holy human with snakes on the head and necks, common serpents, or as half-human, half-snake beings in Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism. A female Naga is a Nagin. Do you know what Jainism is? Nagin, or Nagini. Nagaraja is seen as the king of Nagas, or Nyanis. They are common and hold cultural significance in the mythological traditions of many South Asian and Southeast Asian cultures. They are the children of Rishi Kashyapada, or Kagyu. I don't know about all that. <laughs> or what it means, I mean to say. Nagi! Nagi! Nagini! That's all it means. Yeah, I know what Jainism is. <laughs> A form where they don't injure anything. They believe in like this complete empathy with everything around it because everything is one. And to end the cycle of suffering, you have are those to the people who violence. like won't kill a spider? Yeah, they won't kill bugs. Gotcha. They try to hurt anything. Right. It's kind of beautiful. And if we all lived like that, it'd be kind of boring, but like it'd be pretty interesting. The world would be a better place, probably. We'd all be vegans. Probably. I don't think they're vegan. Actually, they might be vegan. They must be. No, because I think you could eat scavengerly. Like, if it's already dead or going to die, you can eat it. There's, like, a certain way you could do it. There's a way to get your protein besides beets. Well, and beets and beans. No, I mean, I think you could eat the animals. It just has to be, like, from semi-natural causes. Or, like, some ritual so or something. So you like... I, it makes sense that there's like a kind of ritual. <coughs> it's kind of a ritual. Like, I think it's something like you have to give it like a good life for a certain amount of time. Like, treat it the best it can. And then yeah. It, and then get like the same amount of time you spent raising it, eating it, or something weird. Like, where you preserve it all? Like, preserve it, smoke it, and then just try to like, yeah, eat it over the time that the animal existed by like some weird numerological thing. I think it's a little weird. Is it an offshoot of Hinduism or Buddhism? It seemed more like Taoist from what I've read. Can you explain to me Taoism the, to the best of your ability? Well, originally it's with the Tao Te Ching. <clears throat> so, Who wrote that? Uh, Lao Tzu. Oh, I see. So Lao Tzu did the Tao Te Ching. Um, I'd sum it up as basically uh, subverting cravings and desires. It's pretty much just similar to Buddhism in that way, but it's much similar, similar. to Christianity. Christianity's deeper than that, though. After finishing the Bible, it's way deeper than that. I know, but like one of the it's core philosophies is like craving or subverting sin. Subverting which is sin, if you have a the nature of cravings, and right, desires. right, right. Yeah, but it takes a different approach as in basically leaving it to God for that one. Or praying to God, or connecting to God, or being right. closer to God, or godliness, to be able to purge Is that. there cosm cosmology in Taoism? No. That's the thing, is Taoism is very on... I mean, it's, I'm sure offshoots have developed it. But right. core, the Tao Te Ching, some people consider the Book of Chao Tzu as part of that, and then I think one other, I always forget the name of. But... Those are kind of the core kind of trilogy, if you will, for the Taoism. But you can just read the Tao Te Ching, and that's all you need. It's also really short. It's very simple. Very just blunt, kind of like, I don't know, poetic six lines that somehow just hit this weird truth of like, whoa, that's so simple. That's so genius. But less poetic, too, sometimes. Sometimes it's just kind of like, this is the way it is. It's related to that. The way of the thousand things. And it's like, oh, okay. That makes sense. I get it. But it's not like there's a god to be worshipped or afterlife or anything. It's just, do you want peace? Here's how to find peace. Eliminate craving. Eliminate desires. Become one with the... I guess it's similar, though. Because you can interpret 
the Tao of a Thousand Things is kind of a god in its sense. But it's mentioned only like twice. And it's mentioned more as in Tao as in like a way of life. So the way of life would be like a ton of different ways things could go, but also the things that are. Eh, I mean, you'd have to read it for that part. But it's interesting. I couldn't recommend the book enough. <clears throat> Eastern philosophy is so interesting, man. Like, uh. Also read the Art of War. I really should read The Art of War. Both of those. Dao Te Ching and Art of War, man. And the crazy thing, too, is wow. that, like... Looks with the Dhammapada. Like, all these mind. billionaires, like, in the rare interviews they give. Yeah. Like, the I Ching is brought up a weird number of times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very strange, isn't it? What? Oh, wait, repeat that one more time. The I Ching. Oh, the I Ching. I don't think that Qing brings up Taoism. No, I'm just saying that it's like Art of War is read by everyone who is uh, successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weirdly enough, I get it. also the I Ching. I'd be more surprised by the I Ching. I've read through a bit of it and I don't know. I've heard it's not meant to be read that much. It's probably it. I think it's well. It's more divination based. We have to understand yeah. the premise of the divination through reading the I Ching. The I Ching is like this cryptic ass, weird coded series of like symbolic interpretations that I just didn't understand. And you have to have a certain amount of coins that represent certain things, right? Like depending on seasons. You need special coins for it. Yeah, and those all correlate with symbols. Like, oh, you got a mountain in springtime. Oh no, like, it's like, I don't know what this fucking means. Like, right. I don't know, div divination's weird. It's an intuition game. But there's something to it for sure. I've had some fucking weirdly uncanny prophecies done on me. I've had some super bizarre shit. That's too close to your dick. Dude, quit trying to, try to touch my dick. Also, we're getting pretty close to the two hour mark. You want to call it there? Yeah, I think we've proved our point. Thanks to viewers. We're, uh, we're both two? We got two. Who are they? I don't know. Okay. We got we got day man. Can we check? We got the day man. Viewers hidden. Okay, cool. We got two viewers. We're, we're getting back there. We're getting back. Oh, yeah. Anything in the chat we missed? No. Just some lamoing. Yeah. Some lamow. I'll have to set up the mic better. I'm curious to see how the audio levels are for the cast. I thought like there was times where they probably couldn't hear either of us. Oh, I don't know. Mm, we'll see. Quick test to end it, because that's a great ender, right? Yeah, we're testing. Test in the beginning, test in the middle, test in the end. Exponential growth. Oh, shit, Dave's still here. The audio has been good. Nice. Hell yeah. Oh, shit, Dave's still here. That's not bad. Oh yeah, now we just react to ourselves. There's just an echo. That's I'm trying to talk from over here. A magical boy chance here? Boy? Has, have we been, been listening to this whole time? Sub dudes. Hey, magical. Oh shit, do we have to keep streaming now? I think we just got looped in. To more streaming. Unless you guys believe in dragons, then we can end this and prove that dragons are real. Are you guys convinced that dragons are real and let us end this fucking podcast? <laughs> you must stream forever. You probably could, honestly. Yeah, we could we could figure out start doing go for we'd go insane and then the gags would just get better. Right. Maybe or worse. Or just a Depraved. More and more depraved. Oh, terror. Terrifying. <laughs> Salvia. We both do Salvia. Hey, check this out. <laughs> what do you put cameras? Dragons are fake and so are you. Half of that's true. That's not what you'd think. <laughs> Watch this list to find out. Top five reasons dragons are real. And Watch so them, are you. Digging the setup though. Thank you. Thank you. 
so far so good. I want to position it to where we could like talk while we look like we're looking at each other. Right. But I kind of like that I'm not looking at him. We can look near each other. Yeah. Well, I look like I might be talking. Well, yeah. There's not a lot of room. I start to scrape the. Too damn big, boy. Room's too big. Too and your big ass big. chair. It's desk too small. A bigger desk. I want it like all the way to that wall. Boom, and then an L. So you just come in and it's all desk. And then a cubicle. Slide in cubicles. Yeah. To stop from from visual. Exactly. Right. Whoever needs to be divided. You need some moonlighting. I used to run on no sleep for multiple days at the end of middle school, and that's when I was the funniest. And there's something to that. I do my best work late at night. Is that enough mood for you? Look at that. Damn, we should have kept that the whole time. Oh, good. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, I really don't think there's a difference. <laughs> there's a huge difference. You're Trump light. <laughs> Here's a difference. You cut me out. You're Trump light. You want me to turn off the light? Yeah. Sure. No, need some romantic lighting. I have that too. Where did I... Where did I put it? This is like matrix lighting. It makes everything kind of like green. Oh, this is moody. This is like uh, very much 1999 The Matrix. Dude, the lighting on the left. Holy shit. Kind of hurts my eyes. <laughs> no, I like the lighting on this a lot. I'll have to remember this for like shooting stuff. Interesting. I can kind of like lean back into the shadows, just kind of be a floating face. What a floating fart. <laughs> I thought it was a ghost for a second. I realized it was you. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Dude, you look really good. Yeah, bleached <laughs> the fuck out. There we go. And you're like, a, and you look like pretty good. Like, on Chris's end, it's mood lighting. The light is just. I look like a fucking noseless mutt. Like, I look like Voldemort. No nose. The boy who lived come to die. You look like a really scary circus performer. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Looks like you're in two different rooms. We are. We're very COVID compliant. <laughs> Yeah, I like this lighting. It looks really good on you. Yeah, it looks fucking fantastic. Well, do you want to turn the other one on? The boy who lived. When's the hot tub stream? You missed it. That was earlier. To prove dragons are real. We took a hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> How's it work, Chris? Uh, follow the cord. It was a little remote. Also, there should be color screens around here. I have like a blue, a red, and a green one. Oh god, that's bright. Are you trying to blind me? I should sue. I should sue. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Oh, good right now. This is gonna bleach me out more. <laughs> this is gonna <laughs> Dude, I think we got it. Dang, see? Dude, looks, you look like a I'm star. Gonna... You literally. <laughs> yeah, I shine like an Anglo-Saxon <laughs> star. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. Even this one is bad enough. I don't like it, dude. <laughs> yeah. I think we got something here. <laughs> so... You're there looking like a pretty well-done portrait of a drunk writer, like Hemingway. Right. I'm keeping this And I'm here there. looking like Jeff the fucking killer. <laughs> you look like a guy the writer guy would see on Selfie. <laughs> <laughs> I am a writer albino. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look that far off, though. I think the lines just brought it out. Man. <laughs> I'm very... Very much Polish. Half Polish Jew, half Danish slave trader. 
have dumbass. Have <laughs> Yo, man, you have stupid. Have knucklehead. Yo. Yeah, this is good lighting. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm pretty into it. What is this white stuff going on? Is that all the paper and shit? Yeah. Nice. Is it mostly this? Okay. Also, oh, our sponsor, Donnie Darko. On the DVD. director's cut. Director's cut on DVD. Pick it up at your Walmart. From your Walmart bin of $2 movies. Yeah. Uh, should we go for three hours? Or we, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, what time is it? 2 7? 2 05 in? I feel like we gotta do like an intermission or like a. Do you wanna hear about the video game I've been playing? No. So dragons are real, and I feel like we've proved it pretty well. Um, not much more proof needed. I was in the Great Song. We saw a video of some. <laughs> of one. We didn't finish the video. <laughs> That's the one. And that enough. one looks pretty bad. That one proved it well enough. That one looked bad. It looks like Falcor from the fucking Never Ending Story. Looks like Fauci. It looks like Anthony Pons Fauci. Salvia. That fucking meatball. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's cool with the Italians. Oh, yeah. Rex, you getting guilty gear? He's getting guilty of his gear. I don't have any kind of console going on, Colin. I'm more of a pirate PC gamer. AKA lame. PC lame. But if you get it, I will gladly make a day out of the week where I could come over and practice with you. I I like finding games uh, in person. I don't like them online. If you want to... If you want to hang out and play Guilty Gear and you get it, like, I, I will practice with you. We can, like, get good at Guilty Gear and shit. I, I, I would love to do that. I have it as well. I prefer you guys getting good at it. Let's get good at it together. You got it as well? <coughs> yeah, I got it, but you should get better with him and then I'll beat both of your guys' butts. Is Potemkin in it, Colin? Or, uh, boy? Lighting is so good. What? Your lighting is so good. It does this is so bad. Did you hear me, boy? There's Potemkin in it. Dude, it's so fucking bad. Can we go back to the more original stuff? We both looked alright. Let's... Cut this shit. I look like fucking Voldemort with a beard. No nose. <laughs> the nose just disappears. I can't. <laughs> Fucker. I'm crying. <laughs> I gotta soften this shit. Oh. Facial features have returned. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like Gunner. I look like Gunner? A little bit. Oh, nice. Oh, hell yeah, the white thing's connected. Oh, yeah, we gotta, like, match it up. Are you there. digging on fat Rex? Do you prefer me fat? No, I was saying the chair. The white part of the chair. How'd you get a fat reference? I thought you said, uh, you look like Gunner. <laughs> no. Gunner was lost a lot of weight. He's thin now. He, even when he's thin, he's a brute. he is like a cube of meat. He's very cubic. But he's not fat. He's a brute. There's That's a true. You don't look like a brute. <laughs> you just got like his like hairstyle going on. A little less balding though. A little less. Ugh. A lot less balding. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think he is. Make it even brighter for him. I don't want to. <laughs> I just, I I'm it. surrounded by lights pointed like gently <laughs> at my face. That's a highlight of this stream. <laughs> I'm alright with that. I still look good. 
I look like a badass right here. Fucking, I need a cigarette in my mouth or a cigar. Right next to a window, man. I don't know. I don't smoke in here. I got carpet. Get a floodlight on him. I should get a flood on him. Like, there's like a flood that opens up. <laughs> she just get wet. Colin, in in terms of or uh, boy, in terms of a uh, redneck shit. Um, do you know what spotlighting is? Yes, boy Chan, expert of redneck shit. I feel like this is unplugged. Oh boy. So, it's basically when animals, you put a spotlight on the back of a truck, and when animals get hit by the light, they're not like evolutionary evolutionarily like evolved to like take that much light all at once so it stuns them I forget where I was going with this so it's something to do with the bit but well, the second you explain it spotlighting is shooting animals that you stun with a super bright light or beat yeah let's get a beat that was a the bad salt. radio the salt I got some salt in my fucking little finger wound Cut in the dumbest way. I was like carving up a uh, onion, and I was like, "Oh, I don't need to put this on a cutting board. I'll just cut it myself." Somebody assumed my knives were dull. I just like dug into my fucking finger. Like doing one of these? Yeah. Just well, I was just like <laughs> sawing in, and then one of them just <laughs> felt interesting. It was with a serrated knife. Yeah. Well, I gotta say. Beats. No. Cutting against your hand with a serrated knife is pretty funny. It's pretty dumb. But I, was, I didn't want to dirty up a cutting board. God damn. I'm already dirty one up. This is how much this man hates doing dishes. <laughs> I hate doing dishes. It's his least favorite thing in the world. And, uh. <laughs> I'll come over and. <laughs> Take like four to eight shits. <laughs> Dirty up like 10 dishes? He did. You're he so full. You don't even own 10 dishes. No, dude. He comes over here. He cooks up a bowl of ramen. He puts a bowl on top of like a little plate on top of a big plate. And then he uses a fork and a spoon. And it just starts shoveling it in. And dirtying up like all the dishes. When I mean, he just needs a bowl and a spoon. He needs like four implements. We got the old couple over here. I'll show you an old couple. I'll show you an old couple of balls. Oh, uh, yeah. They're all these old beets. They've been sitting in my fridge for like four months. Four months? Probably good. They might be a little fermented. There's no way it's been four months. They would have molded at some point. They keep pretty well. They're in the freezer. Oh. Oh, that changes things. It's a fridge. It's in my fridge. The fridge is different than a freezer. Well, that's a fridge. I put it in my fridge. For four months. I have a freezer months. in my fridge. You want, what do you want from me? Both of my balls. <laughs> I'm bringing balls here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the alcohol. I'm in the socket. Bro, oh, did I tell you that I finished The Sopranos? What'd you think? Is it out? Yeah. There was like one drink left when you handed it over. You gonna cry? It looks like your eyes watered up there a second. Another bowl? Yeah, let's get fucked up. No, let's not get fucked up. Get some more beats and drink some water. Am I right, chat? <laughs> Fuck. Dude, just eat the beats. You need the melanin. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you need the melody. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Could you drop the light again, too? <laughs> yeah, let's get the, the full Rex Rivers experience. The full Rex explosion experience. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's the Rex we all know. That's the one we know. He looks like faceless clip art. <laughs> oh, dude. That's so good. <laughs> Does it go brighter? I mean, this actually kind of works. Now I look over. Ooh, this is moody. Hello. Well, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Whoa. I didn't see two of you. Really? Oh, I'm retarded. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wait. Not this. That's not bad. Makes you look very Latinx. Well, that's what they called me in high school is Latinx. I hope this doesn't, like, I hope my computer has enough to, like, handle the recording. How much storage space do you have? I should look into that. Can't see shit. We'll get some glasses. You dork. <laughs> Goofus. Hey, easy. No, 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 no. I got more to say, okay? <laughs> Get two pairs of glasses, you blind bat. <laughs> Projection. I'm just kidding. Dude, I have Hawkeyes. That's why my, my chat's called Hawk Nation. I've gone on a road trip with you. You do not have Hawkeyes. Dude, says the guy. <laughs> Only has two brown eyes. <laughs> that makes it sound like not how it turned it out to be. I don't even have two eyes. Yeah, okay, I got a hundred gigs. I got a beefy ass computer. <laughs> That's right. I got half a terabyte. A hundred? Half a terabyte. Five hundred would be half a terabyte. No, thousands of gigabytes of terabyte. But even five bucks. Right here, right now. No. So you have you have five hundred gigs. <sighs> yeah. Half a terabyte. At least at one hundred. There's no terabytes you can't see out of his not two eyes. I thought you said you had a hundred. You misread several of my messages, Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait. <wait. coughs> thank you, Carl. Or er, thank you, boy. <coughs> so this channel is sponsored by Donnie Darko on DVD. Let me get that up to the camera real quick. Director's cut, Donnie Darko. That's our sponsor. You can find it on Kmart.com. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it's, it is it is pretty frustrating, boy. <laughs> it's not, dude. My eyes are pretty good. I've not been in one car accident that I've been driving or that's led to injuries or, like, a smashed car. I find shit. Like, we were like, dude, where's my beer? I'm like, dude, it's right there. <laughs> like, I got poured <laughs> right out. I can know exactly where it is. Yeah, you've adapted pretty well, but I mean. That's a different kind of vision. Reading, it, it, it's. Uh, it's a different kind of vision. Seeing. Uh, I see things how they street are. Street signs at a distance. I see, like, the streets. It's pretty interesting. Someone that can't we've, see the we we put it to the test uh, before, like okay, when can you read this? You can see big and we get like right up on it. It's like okay, now I can read what it says. Well, I can't read text far away, but I don't need to. It helps no, it on doesn't. road trips. No, it doesn't. You just get to the sign and be like, oh, okay, like that's 
No, it's not optimal on the freeway. What's the boy have to say? You can see big objects. You got big objects for your right. What's yeah. that? Uh, what's that little thing you put down? Probably a lemur or something. I can't see it. Oh, it's a, a snake head. That's a reptilian. It's a dragon. Dragons are real. Dragons are real. Dot com. Dot love. Dot love. Dot com. Dot love. I still feel like we've proven the dragons for this stream. We we proved it last stream, but we really hit the nail on the head this stream. Uh, well, one of us is in the uh, you know Silk Road exaggeration of things hypothesis. Or of, aliens. That's, that's aliens of, fill the gaps. It's kind of hard on you. <laughs> hard on yourself. Hmm? That's kind of hard on yourself. What do you mean? You're saying like you believe in aliens and stuff? Yeah. I don't know if you want to admit that in like a public forum. Yeah, well, aliens. You vape too, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fat now. I vape. I believe in aliens. <laughs> All right, can you see Something's that? changed. I look different now. Can you say that one more time? Oh, no. <laughs> you say you believe in aliens? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's really it. Do you believe in aliens? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We'll put that on a shirt. <laughs> the craziest fucking shit with all that. So, like, have you heard about the aerial school encounter? Yeah, it's really like the dragon showed up over the school. <laughs> and like flying around. Uh, That's the only UFO I believe in. Never it's fucking mind. dragon. There's a lot more to that shit, but... Dragons. Yeah, okay. Well, honestly, like, think about it. Think about it. Like, really think about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about it. What are you thinking about? <laughs> I've I not seen the connection. Well, think about it some more. Like. <laughs> <laughs> think about it until you find the connection. Yeah, dude. What are you thinking? Like, tell me. Like, I already know. <laughs> but, you know, I want to know what you're thinking. <laughs> uh... There's a fuck ton more evidence for extraterrestrials. Oh, watch your language. Watch your language. There's a hell of a lot more. Oh, well, watch your volume. It's a little loud right now. There's a lot more. Hold on. You're a little kind of talking like an ethnic kind of like tone of things. Let's limit that a little bit. That's kind of racist. The way you're talking. That like this. Can you talk like your character from Invisible by Disney Plus? My name is Rex Explode, and I think aliens exist, man. There we go. You heard it from him, ladies and gentlemen. Let's Inks. All the way. The Tinks Rivers. That's what they call me. Dude, I'm sure people call you that. I'm like the Polish slave trading Mexican, man. You're like a pole of the. Uh, of a pulley it brings a bucket up on the other side. All right, <laughs> I'll take it. All right, Chrissy, I think we should end this bastard. We're not even three hours left yet. Why? Why is that a goal? Because <laughs> it's a marathon of proving that dragons are real. <laughs> Do you think dragons are real? No. Well, then we have to keep going until you believe dragons are real. <laughs> All right. Like, what, what do you want? It's like Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> Pretty much. Nope. This is an Abu Ghraib <laughs> style <coughs> situation. This is just Abu from Aladdin. Yeah, yeah, boo. Yeah, boo. Dude. Yeah. Once again, I want to thank our sponsors. Yeah. Don't Big me. Blunt. We got Dayman. Don Darko on DVD, director's cut. We have Magical Boy Chan, who's direct, directly supplied us with money to make this. He's on the hook for anything we've said. He's a rich man. He's our lawyer. 
He is a writer. He wrote all of this. Yes. Um, Day is, of course, our Chinese producer. Thank you also for the money. Day is giving us, is that a peace hand? Or a mm. victory salute? I think it's like fingers coming at your eyes. Like he's about to what fucking Collins blind say? you. I do, do not endorse, I do endorse, I endorse this dragon pseudoscience. I fully endorse this dragon pseudoscience. Fuck yeah. He's yeah. our boy. Dude, thank you, boy Chan. We really appreciate that. For the record, Colin, I don't think they ever existed, but uh, I'll play ball. What more do you need? Is this like a projection of like the fact that you never hugged your dad as a child? Yeah, I hugged my dad a lot. <laughs> Not too much, maybe. maybe that's, <laughs> why you don't in that's why I don't believe in dragons. Yeah, I think we found <laughs> oh, we got Melfi over here. I think why we found out why dragons don't exist. We got Melfi, and I'm Tony Soprano for Rex Explosion Rivers over here. <laughs> You blind bastard. <laughs> That's right, boy. No. That's right, boy. No. Don't not have it. He, he, he not take, in my house. Not in my he house. He tries to, like, talk shit about my eyesight, but it's like, hey, I can see the street sign fucking 200 feet away. Where's your beer? My beer? Yeah. I drank it. Where is it, though? The yeah. can? That took him, like... 20 seconds? That took me like one second. That's not the same as a uh, visual acuity. It is. It's just my no. vision's fast. It's like, <laughs> it's like shooting around. Yours is like, and it's like, you can see further. You're shooting around within a very tight radius <clears throat> of detail. Exactly. It's like constant, like ultra processing. Whereas yours is like super far away, but it takes you forever. So you're like, like your mouth open. Oh my god. Your mouth is open. <laughs> your eyes go cross eyed. Yeah, yeah, you blind bastard. It's true. I've seen it many times. A lot. Well, we gotta stay here until he believes dragons are real. You gotta at least admit it if you wanna go to bed. Uh, maybe some kind of extinct species, perhaps. Maybe. It's not good enough. Alright, so next example. We got Nagas. We're left off at Nagas. What up, Naga? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I said Naga. Ooh. Ooh. I'm saying if they're... Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what I say. It's ooh, 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 ooh. Hey. Be careful there, bud. Okay, so... <laughs> research stinks. Hold on, let me put the research on the, the screen. Now you guys can follow along at home. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, oh, oh there, though. I like when there's like a mound effect. A, the, a mound effect? Like, my arms combine with a chair and make it look kind of seamless. Kind of biomechanical? No. <laughs> Not at all. I am the chair. I'm the chair. It's me. Y'all have a good night. You have a good night. Rex is going to have a bad night. I'm going to believe in dragons. I'm going to make sure he can't sleep. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to wear a dragon mask and wake you up in the middle of the night. That would suck. Scary. I could see myself waking up and like punching outward, and then you like getting angry that I did that. Yeah, catching your fucking fist in the <laughs> air, crush, crunch it, <laughs> feed it to you. That's horrifying. The dragons are real. He's he's a boo boo head. Wrong. Dragons do exist. We're gonna leave it on that. Maybe a part three coming. Maybe something else. We'll see. We got lots of big plans here. We got we got Donnie Darko, director's cut on DVD. We're gonna be doing some DVD reviews. You know, just pulling up DVDs. We got Children of Men. The podcast is not sponsored by Children of Men on DVD. Also, actually, this one's not director's cut. There might not be a director's cut. They didn't cut it. Yeah, lots of good stuff coming. Subscribe. 
Notif notify. How do you do the YouTube thing? Subscribe. You hit the bell mm -hmm. and the uh, bell. be a little cum slut. Why was there like a wetness sound when you walked in? Oh, dude, oh, gross. Don't touch my <laughs> water bottle with the nasty ass feet. They're, they're nice feet. I shower a lot. Dude, that's why you're hiding them on the camera. Oh my god, I don't want to look at that. I'm rubbing it on the carpet real good. It that looks like nice. one big slug with five other slugs attached to <laughs> What do you mean? My feet? Slug. I have like normal feet. You got slug feet, dude. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Each toe looks like a little slug. <laughs> it's just a foot, man. A lot going on. Yeah. I don't know how to end these. I think we just keep going. I think that's how you do podcasts. Oh, I'm getting tired, though. You don't believe in dragons. Maybe there might have been some. I don't believe in a large flying reptile of this earth. It's just some alien shit. If anything. So it's all aliens with you. And I mean. Do you only believe in aliens and everything else is a conspiracy theory? No, I'm just saying that, like, there would be. There would be. Something. Every every dragon bone turns out to be what some. What have from aliens? Fucking. No. Hundred. That's not true at all. Hundreds of thousands, of millions of reports. Same if thing even, with dragons. The same thing with dragons. Not millions. Hundreds, if not thousands. Throughout yeah, history, not, not aliens. Aliens barely show. Not up. in the modern day. Aliens barely show up. They yeah. show up way less than dragons in mythology. There's and something going on tradition. with the dragon thing. Dinosaurs and dragons. Days on onto it. Dinosaur dragons. Why is that so hard to believe? I, I mean, the time scale. It's like so. There's nothing in the fossil record for sixty-five million years with uh, dinosaurs. Every dinosaur skull looks like it was a dragon's. Well, yeah, but it's like, d the idea is like, did humans coexist with these things? Probably. Do you, uh, not to, do you not want to believe our ancestors were fighting dragons in our history? You believe we're all just a bunch of monkey people. Slash, oh my god, what an equivalency. Spanking each other's Fucking butts. Fucking retarded. Spanking each other's butts. So, um... This guy. You know, I maybe there's some weird, like, temporal stuff going on. Temporal? Like, with, like, time slips or whatever. But there's living... Some drag, some drag dinosaurs shit. living into, like... Because, like, a thousand years is fucking nothing. So, in the in the greater scheme of things, when you're talking that's about 65 lot. million... In the greater scheme of things. When you're talking about... Well, I'm talking about... We get less than a hundred years, and that feels like forever. A thousand years is a long time. But when you're talking about, the like, the living dinosaur situation, you're we talking about 65, that. like, million. We can't even fathom that. Right, precisely. That's a nonsense number to me. In any case. I mean, you can't even count to a million. <laughs> that I've never heard. I've, I've I've kept my I've held my tongue whenever you say that. Like you can't count to it. And you can't comprehend it. That's not even fucking true. Look at it, dude. How long does it take to count to a million? It's gonna blow your mind. It's gonna change your life. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, because you don't believe in dragons. You don't believe in God. You don't believe in Jesus. That's not true. You don't believe in anything. I believe in God. How long? The alien God. Mordog. <laughs> Mordog? Morglon. Made that up on the spot, by the way, everybody. Morglon. <laughs> Morglin? Yeah. How long to... What was I looking up? <laughs> Did you tell me? Yeah. Dude, were you even listening? <laughs> no, you were... Um, how long would it take to count to one billion? Oh, yeah. But I don't think you're necessarily... That's like kind of the beauty of mathematics, is that you don't have to count to a million to understand one million. 
at one number per second with no breaks at all for any reason, it would take 11 days, 13 hours, 46 minutes, and 4 seconds to count from 1 to 1 million. So if you space it out like a month? Basically. Yeah, that's not that bad. It's pretty hard. <laughs> that's, that's, so what? If you, 1, 2, 3. You can't count to 100 million, though, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, it's 1 billion. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that if a fucking if you can't count to a number, you don't listen to this guy. He's a snake oil salesman. <laughs> He's a snake oil in the trunk of his, yeah, the trunk of his car. Just because I look like Voldemort with this lighting, <laughs> no, that's fucking retarded. It's so weird. One million would take at least one month just to count to. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's the beauty of mathematics, though, man. What? <laughs> that you don't have to count on your fingers to a million. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Like you're like counting to a million, like one, yeah, two, three. Exactly. It's like you can't comprehend what a million is. You can't count to it. Yeah, count to a thousand. <laughs> Do it. Why? You. Why? Why? What's you. the point? Because you'll see the measurement. You understand of that it's, you take million for granted is what I'm saying. It's ten hundreds. No, dude, it's a huge fucking number. Like, imagine a million. Oh, yeah, a thousand. Oh, yeah, yeah. A imagine a hundred people in this apartment. Now, imagine a million. It doesn't even make sense how big of a number that is. I'm just saying we don't fathom how big that number is, especially in a time gap where we know maybe 6,000 years of our history decently well. A million years is a stupidly long time, like immeasurably, unfathomably long. And we talk about it so casual, and it's like, oh, 650 million years. And it's like, you don't fucking know any of that. We don't know fucking close to that shit. We I mean, know how much of dollars that is, because fucking rich ass motherfuckers, but like, I don't know, time wise, that's crazy talk. I can't wait for 10 years. It's like, 100, Dinos, Dinos. 100 billion years ago. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, 100 billion, 100 billion years, man. It's just been that long. And it's like, no, that's fucking insane. I expect to hear that from a homeless person in Olympia. <laughs> million years. It's like, that's insane. I'm sorry. Where? What? Apparently, there's carbon evidence, and that's everything. And that, you don't ever question that. But like, it's fucking crazy. Talk. Well, it's stratigraphical. Yeah. Where it's like the layers and stuff. That's just been wrong before, though. It's not an exact science. No, it's not. But I mean... It's just funny it, that it's doctrine already. So even if, like, they are, like, 165th wrong, and it's 1 million years instead of 65 million years... I don't think they know shit. I don't think we know shit. About any of it? Pretty much. I think we're just making best guess. We've had guesses from thousands of years now, and we've pretty much always been wrong. I don't think we got it right all of a sudden. That's a good point. <laughs> I think it's just goofy. All of a sudden, it's like, dude, we got it. 500 billion years old. Like, <laughs> it's like, okay. Well, the Earth is only... Uh, the the official model is like 2 billion. Or 2 and change. Yeah, that's hilarious to me. I was making up the billions just to be a funny joke. Right, right, right. Um, that makes it much more funny than it's an actual thing. That's the estimation. <laughs> two billion. Is in the vicinity of two billion. Let's make it two trillion. <laughs> two trillion years old. Same difference, really. Oh, yeah. No difference. I don't know. The, the stratigraphical people think they have it figured out. Okay. Their model is about... Everyone thinks they got it figured out. 12-year-old emo girls think they have figured out. Some dude tripping in a trash can on mushrooms and molly thinks he's figured it out. Is Colin still here? Uh, no. He went to bed. He was tired. I'm tired, too. I've been tired.
tired of your bullshit. <laughs> my bullshit? I'm tired of your bullshit. Oh my god. I admit dragons are real, damn it. <laughs> There may be an extinct species involved. Uh, if they could talk, probably not of this earth. It takes one year to count to a billion. But no one's done it. No one's counted to like... I bet, uh, I bet world record no one's counting. Counted. I don't think anyone's counted to a billion. I'll, I'll, I'll Google it. We'll end with this. Has anyone counted to a billion? I want to see if anyone's even counted to a million. Okay, uh, Jeremy Harper's done it. That one, I, I think Mr. Beast even did. Mr. Beast? Yeah. Who's that? He's a badass. This is the highest number any one person has ever counted. <coughs> AKA the Special Olympics for math mathematicians. Dude, that's crazy. What? Red numbers allowed off of a t computer screen for 89 days. Setting the record for the highest any person single is counted. I wonder what they do. Why is it not selling? It's like a dirty little secret. That's <laughs> it. They're literally not even saying it. What the fuck? I wonder how long, how What number did he get to? It's not saying. Eighty nine days. Jesus Christ. Oh, one million. Highest we've ever been able to count to for one person. Counts to one million. Yep, in eighty-nine days. And imagine a billion. That's years and years. A thousand eight hundred ninety days. Yeah, uh, but at, check at him rate. three months where the mathematician, the mathematical quickest time it can be humanly done. You're like you're not peeing, you're not pooping, you're just reading the fucking numbers. Okay. Is like eight hundred ninety days. It's like a week. A week or two, but it took him like not three months. So that number is definitely fluctuating. Well, I I think it just had at, at some point it just takes a lot longer time to say the number. Physically, it's like almost one million eight hundred thousand eight hundred ninety two thousand six hundred twenty three. Exactly. So it gets really hard at a certain point. But I I don't think possible. that the ability to that's not possible. I don't place that much value like mathematics stopped people. Well, from so having calculators. to count. I'm not arguing we don't have calculators. You're just not processing what that means. You're taking it for granted, I, I'm basically saying. Yeah. You don't know how big those numbers are. They're enormous. And the fact that we can't count to them, I think, is a testament to how just crazy that shit is. I don't know. It's like imagining a million people. The fact that we have billions of people on Earth is insanity right. to me. Thousands of millions. Yeah, we, we live in like one state with like what, two yeah. million people in it? Less than that? Three million? That's st so also insane. Like every time you go out on the road, it's just thousands, tens of thousands of people, you know, and just cities of like hundreds of thousands. It's all just nuts. Numbers, like, I don't know, blow my mind. I'm just processing how big that shit is. Three billion? We got three billion people? Jamie, look it up. There's like five million in New York, right? Just in that one little island. Something like that. India has like almost a billion itself. More than that. I thought they were encroaching on two. They might have three billion alone. China's up there too. Oh, China's fucking crazy. So, so COVID killed all of them. So I mean, who knows? Huh? So COVID killed all of them, so who knows? That's not true. Barely any Chinese people died all at all. All of them died from COVID. Every grandma that's ever lived. Uh, well, it's supposed to go up to 8 billion in 2023. India? No, just the world population. Ah, I see. 2021, we're at 7.8 billion. Rounding up, 7.9. It's pretty close to 8. Yeah. That's insane. It's a lot of people. Millions that's and millions. That's nuts. Twenty fifty world population. 
may rise by 16 billion. No, something's gonna happen. No. <laughs> no, no, of course not. Dragons are real. Dragons are real. A lot of people are gonna die. It's gonna be the dragons that do it. COVID, you're scared of COVID and 5G and wars with China? No. Dragons are what you need to be afraid of. Dragons.love.